Slim Blunt gang in the motherfucking building. You heard? Slim Blunt gang in the motherfucking building. Lighten up my Slim Blunt right quick. Gen Pop Dot store is open. You heard? For those who don't know. For those who've been need in need of that merch the gen pop store is officially open my niggas gen pop dot store you heard and let me tell you some shit right now i only got about three four designs up there but i got the whole portfolio of designs about the hit bro and I'm taking this shit seriously. I'm not trying to give y'all niggas some bullshit ass merch. I'm trying to give y'all shit that you could rock and that shit is fly. You heard? It's only the beginning. But those, that motherfucker, those designs, they gonna get crazy. This is just one design, Gen Pop Fam design. You heard bubble letter joint. You put this shit on any solid t-shirt, them bubble letters is hopping out in 5D. You heard? I'm about to get on it, bro. I'm telling you. I got designers on their job. I got all type of shit. Y'all got to go to the site, genpop.store, as you can see right here. I got, I got the tie-dye shit. Champion got the tie dot champion hoodies with the gen pop logo on them. You feel what I'm saying? Gen pop mass is fire. The prison gang t shirts is flames. Then for my Pottersfield niggas, we got the Pottersfield NYC joints. Like I said, this is only the beginning, baby. I'm about to get on some real clothing line shit for real. For real, I'm gonna smash these other niggas that be thinking that they merch is popping. Like, nah, nigga, I'm gonna show y'all niggas. How real close, when you go on my shit, it's going to be like your ass is on a clothing site for real. Like you on Macy's, you heard? And that's the way it's already starting to look. But I just launched yesterday, last night. So that fat vegetarian hoodie, that shit different. That fat vegetarian hoodie is different, my nigga. You heard? I ain't got the snappies or the fittest yet, but they on the way, baby. They are on the way. Trust me. I'm a, I'm telling you. Like I said, this is just the beginning. But I'm going to get crazy. And I'm rocking all my old shit. With all my regular clothes that I got, I'm implementing all of this Gen Pop shit into my regular wardrobe. Watch. You're going to see me getting stupid with my own merch. You understand what I'm saying? That green Gen Pop hoodie, I'm ordering that shit myself. You know, this is print on demand, so... You order the shit, it ships. Now, I, mean, I don't have a stack of merchandise. That's old school. The new way of things is print on print on demand. I pick the quality of the shit I want, the type of style I want, how big I want the logo on the shit. Boom, they print it, send it. That's it. You feel me? Professional companies that do this for real. This is all, this is the same shit that major clothing designers do. They use the print kind of same exact shit, bro. Same materials, everything. But that fat vegetarian hoodie, listen, when that full hit, nigga, I will be doing my, my fat vegetarian reviews. Not, not just in those, but I will be doing a couple of reviews in that hoodie. Know what I mean? And I'm going to get some green motherfucking, they don't even make night tech in that color green, but I'm going to get some green Lacoste sweats or something crazy to rock with that. You heard? I'm going to get crazy, though. I ain't going to play with it. I ain't going to have y'all niggas just rocking shit and just say Gen Pop all the time. That's why I got the prison gang joint, too. You understand what I'm saying? These prison gang joints, though, I love them. I love them. Gen Pop dot store, man. Log off. But yeah, man. I mean that I got my music up on the summer screen. I don't know how good y'all can see these screens because I know light is popping off them shits. Let me see something. Put some more light up on this motherfucker, but it's like, yo. Where's my motherfucking remote? Y'all gotta make sure y'all go on YouTube. Put in St. Lads the Greatest. If y'all ever want to hear like most of my 
work that I'm known for in the rap game, you just gotta put in on YouTube, St. Laz the Greatest. And when you put in St. Laz the Greatest, it's gonna pop up with the best of my shit, with the most views and the most shit people know me for in case you wanna give yourself a quick uh, <laughs> tutorial on who St. Laz the Rapper actually is. You feel what I'm saying? You could go see all my best stuff joints, my video with Jada Kiss, my video with Jim Jones, my video with Yayo, Conway, you know what I mean? Some of my best songs that I made, solo songs, a lot of good shit. A lot of good shit, bro. But yeah, man. Gen Pop Dot Store is popping. I got some wild ass, I got some wild ass uh shit on the way too. I got a dude working on some new logo. Ooh, would I get that new logo? It ain't even, it's gonna be a logo, but I'm gonna get this, the t-shirt design by itself. It ain't gonna just always be a logo. But man, listen, watch. Watch, baby. Hit that like button, please. So people can know that I'm more alive and they can come through and watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have the I'm gonna have the small logo. Some of the shit got the small logos on it. You heard? Good looking, my bro. You feel what I'm saying? And it ain't not me. Y'all, y'all dudes. You heard? Support how you can. Not me. If you can't afford to buy merchandise, share my video on Facebook. You understand what I'm saying? Tweet it. Leave a comment. All of that support. You heard? I take all of that support, my nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Support ain't always got to be buddy. It could be showing that love and spreading the word. You feel me? So for those who out there who money is limited, spread the word, bro. I'm, I'm in Facebook jail until the 18th. Like, I'm sick of Facebook. I'm going to end up making a new Facebook and shit. But it's like, the niggas already deleted one of my major pages that I had hundreds of thousands of views on. But everything happens for a reason. You feel what I'm saying? But, um... Now I'm in Facebook jail to the 18th, so I can't share none of the videos on Facebook. And little do we know, Facebook accounts for about uh, like 15% of the viewership, like of the channel. 15%, like 15 to 20% of that go comes from people sharing the videos on Facebook. So I haven't been on Facebook to be able to share none of the shits for other people to share. So that shit is hurting my shit, man. Facebook, they be bullshit. They're going to lose all of their motherfucking... They're going to lose a lot playing around with that Facebook jail shit all the time. Then they got me in Facebook jail right now for a crime that I did not commit. And that is a fact. You understand what I'm saying? Just like the real justice system is fucked up, Facebook's justice system, nigga. Niggas got me in Facebook jail for posting a video with an image where they thought the image was a sexual image, but it wasn't. Or whatever they thought graphic vibe, it wasn't. It just looked like that from afar. But then when you look up close, it was a picture of something else. Like, not me. And they computers or whatever picked up on it like it was a sexual image. It wasn't, my nigga. Nigga stood me in Facebook jail for 30 days. So right now, I'm in Facebook jail for 30 days missing bread. You understand what I'm saying? Promoting my channel and all of that. If I was if I was caked up and had a lawyer or a retainer, I'd just slap their ass with a lawsuit. Blong. Y'all niggas stopping me from promoting my business. You understand what I'm saying? Which, which, I, which I have the right to do on my personal page. Fuck out of here. You heard? Or niggas got me a central face bookings, my nigga. That's a fact. Niggas stopping me from promoting my motherfucking videos. That shit is whack. Real chalk. But yeah, man. Yo, real talk, bro. Shout out to um my nigga Ralph McDaniels. I mean, the gatekeeper of New York, the real motherfucking king of this rap shit. My nigga Ralph McDaniels, you feel what I'm saying? Played that video last night. Played it Thursday night too, Friday morning, Thursday night, but I fell asleep. You feel what I'm saying? So I wasn't sure if it came on or not, but I watched it last night, Saturday, 12 midnight. I went to the hood. I went to my mom's crib in the, in the hood. Watch that shit. I went watch shit in the hood, nigga. Watch that video music box. He played that new video with me and Tiggs. Now I mean that Blockstar video. Shout out to my nigga Tiggs from Albany. Yo, 
me tell you something about Video Music Box. I'm going to do an episode about Video Music Box. When I'm breaking down the history and how it and how it influenced me into becoming a rapper when I start telling the rap series. I ain't even start telling the rap series yet. You feel what I'm saying? I told you I got the rap series coming where I'm going to start telling all of the stories. I got three episodes so far, but I got them just in a cut. I ain't put them out yet. You feel what I'm saying? Because I might be in negotiations with some real big shit and I might want to just give them niggas the whole rap series. You feel what I'm saying? And get this bread. But it's like, we're going to see what happens. But if not, I'm just going to unleash that shit. You know what I mean? But, you know what I mean? I got, I got the story on how we got the video with Jim Jones. Crazy story. You feel me? How we got the video with Kiss. You know what I mean? How Busta Rhymes bodyguard, bodyguards backed out ratchets on me and was about to clap me and kill me. You feel what I'm saying? How video music box influenced the whole New York City into being rappers. You feel what I'm saying? I got mad stories, my nigga. How I came this close from rotation on MTV while unsigned and in the hood. How I fucked that pack up. How that pack got fucked up and then I fucked up other packs. You feel what I'm saying? I got mad stories, mad rap shit, bro. How, how I was getting on Hot 97 the first time my music got on Hot 97. How me and how me, how I did the videos with Jordan Tower and then me and Jordan Tower end up having a fallout over those videos. Got stupid stories coming, my nigga. Stupid stories. Straight up. Who that, that bum ass nigga Bullet Scotty? I know that ain't that bum ass nigga Bullet Scotty in here, man. Yo, Bullet Scotty, you a bum, son. You know I destroyed you before, man. I, I don't want to destroy you again, but I will. Just to test my level of, test my sword. Everybody, we got a, we got a famous troll in the, in the chat room that goes by the name of Bullet Scotty. Bullet Scotty, I, I got to stop seeing videos of you getting beat up and robbed, my nigga. You got to stop. You got to stay inside and do your show, my nigga. Stop going around Brooklyn. Brooklyn is a dangerous place, my nigga. When you when you don't know nobody and you ain't a you ain't an official nigga, Brooklyn is a dangerous place, my friend. Stay indoors. Slim Blunt Gang in the building. Now, Bullet Scotty, man, he know he played with me one time. I just I lit his ass up. You heard? <laughs> I lit his ass up. He know how I get down. Nah, I me. Mean, nah, nigga. You ain't got me blogging, my nigga. You ain't got me. How bullets got he got me telling jail stories? I started doing this shit telling jail stories, nigga. You ain't never been in that keg, nigga. Niggas would have been all up in your buns. You heard, bullets got he? Because you know, I told you before, you look like a lesbian. You heard? So niggas would have been all up in your bun cakes. Niggas would have been selling those buns. You would have been in your cell. You ain't know what was going on. Niggas in the yard negotiating over your buns like this. Yo, I got four boxes of oatmeal pies. You heard? And I got two weed sticks for them buns. Niggas like, nah, my nigga, this nigga offered me eight cans of Mac. And I mean, three bags of river rice and an old hot pot for that nigga buns. I'm going to have to take the hot pot, my nigga. Them shit's bad. You heard? Bullet Scotty, you would have been, yo, son, I'm telling you, stay out the pen. Stay on YouTube, bro. Because niggas will be up north riding your shit like a horse, you heard? <laughs> niggas will be like this. Niggas will be with a lasso on your shit, taking turns. Real talk, my nigga. You know you look like a lesbian. So it would have been over for you, my nigga. <laughs> Nah, son, it's not me. I'm telling you, I thought so was a lesbian. But it's like, yo, you go to the can, nigga, with that no hair on your face looking like a looking like a thick lesbian. It's over for you, my nigga. It's over for you, my nigga. Niggas gonna be trying to pull you to all type of blocks. They're gonna be like, pack up, you're on the C block. I'm like, yo, what happened? I'm only been four days. Now I mean niggas be pulling your shit to different blocks, trying to get them buns on the gallery. I'm telling you. Slim Blunt gang in the building. You're but like, yeah, man. Bullets got you. I'm telling you, son. Stay out them streets, my nigga, for you. Something happened to you. You have to defend yourself, and then you be on Rikers Island. I'm telling you, bro. 
Rikers Island. They don't be run up, they don't run up in buns as much on Rikers Island. But you hit that up north, ooh wee, niggas gonna be swinging all type of ice picks over them buns. Yo, that nigga Bullets Gotti is here. As soon as you hit the jail, that shit gonna be like a wire. Niggas be like, yo, that nigga Bullets Gotti here. Nigga buns is crazy brawling. Who that? Nigga look like a lesbian? Yeah, that nigga here, son. He just touched the Niggas gonna be like this. The word of the month, I'm stabbing 12 niggas over that. Niggas gonna be in the yard picking each other up. Beep, 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 beep. You gonna be like, yo, what's going on? People keep getting stabbed around me. Niggas is fighting for them buns, nigga. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, bro. Stay all the way on YouTube, my nigga. Stay on the whole YouTube. Real talk. But nah, man, you already know what it is, son. You know how I scorch you. Unless you want to get scorched, my nigga, you got to have to stay out. <laughs> stay off of my YouTube, because you will be the new mascot. We already lost my nigga Rico Rams. Re we ran Rico Rams out of here, man. Rico Rams don't even come in here no more, man. We just, we OD'd on, son. You heard? Niggas making names, Rico Rams moms, Bullets Gotti. It won't end good for you in here, my nigga. I'm telling you. <laughs> It will not end good for you in here, my nigga. And that's a fact. Yeah, man. Niggas said Rico Rams was Gotti. Niggas is, niggas is doing their investigations on you, Rico Rams. I hope you're not in here under another name, my nigga. I hope you're not in here under another name. Real talk. <laughs> Oh shit. Let me think of a name for Bullets Gotti, man. Bunsy Gotti? Let me think. I'm trying to think. Something Buns related. But you know that nigga Buns is wide. You heard? Pause. <laughs> wide Buns Bullets, man. Know what I mean? My nigga Wide Buns Bullets. Don't come up in here, my nigga. Because that would be your new name. Wide Buns Bullets. You heard? And the whole the whole internet will be calling you that. I'm telling you. <laughs> my nigga Y. Hold on. Now nah, my nigga WBB, you heard? Y Buns Bullets, man. That's your new name, son. You, you bought it on yourself. So now when you come up in here, niggas gonna be like this. Wide, what up, my nigga? My nigga Wide. Nigga Buns is wide. But yeah, my nigga. Genpop.store, go there and get your motherfucking merchandise. Word to everything I love. I'm about to order some of my own shit just to see how it comes packaged and fresh. So I gotta, I gotta hit them niggas up. Yo, listen, nigga. Don't be sending my shit like regular, regular shit. Send my shit looking packaged. Nigga, I'm, t t I'm an extremist with this, so... You know how you order something from Polo? They send you that shit in a box. <laughs> you know what I mean? With the Polo shit on you. Open that shit up. That should be like... Mm. I just ordered the motherfucking... A uh, few weeks ago. Um, the, the Chicago Cubs Polo hoodie. Nigga, that shit come in a box. When you open that shit up, light come out that shit like this. Mm. Real talk. That's how I want my shit coming in the mail, my nigga. I'll, I'll go the extra mile. I need a wholesale connect for boxes like that. Throw the logo on that shit, nigga. Order a hoodie. Nigga, that shit come in a motherfucking box with the Gem Pop logo on that shit. That's how, that's how I'm going to get get it eventually. When I move up to the bigger, more high-end printing companies. You know what I'm saying? Well, your brand got to be up. Your business credit got to be up. That's what I'm working on. I get my business credit up and I got $20,000 in the stash that's just for orders. That's when I'm going to get wild. You heard? That's when I'm going to get wild, my nigga. Because I've been studying companies lately. I've been studying clothing. <laughs> and a lot of these niggas, bro, these niggas is getting away with murder. Like, the whole polo line, Adidas line, like, this, all of this shit. Like, it's nothing wrong with, you know, the, um, the iron on shit and shit like that. Because you could do that at a high quality where it never, ever comes off. You feel what I'm saying? But then if you use um, polyester... You could put the image inside the shirt completely where it is not nothing you feel. It's just in the shirt and it will last forever and ever. This shit right here, you wash this shit. You, event, you keep washing this, throwing this in the washing machine. It's a wrap, bro. Shit gonna start getting crackly and all of that. 
I don't do none of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm good with washing machines, period. You feel what I'm saying? It's just ruin your clothes. But um, polyester shit is, like, indestructible, my nigga. Like, people got it. Polyester got a bad name because back in the days, niggas used to wear polyester suits. Nobody should wear a polyester suit. But for a t-shirt in the summertime, that shit had you sweating way less than motherfucking that heavy-ass cotton. That heavy ass cotton, sometimes I go out in the summertime, nigga, two blocks, that shit is wet. You know what I mean? It's too heavy. You feel me? For 90 degrees and 80 degrees. You feel me? But um, I'm a fuck with both. But uh I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna gotta step it up because a lot of these companies, bro, these niggas is printing shit on t-shirts and selling them shits for eighty dollars and ninety dollars. <laughs> Some of these brands are ridiculous. I'm talking about high-end brands, nigga, that $300, $400 a t-shirt. They ain't doing nothing but taking a regular-ass shirt and printing a motherfucking logo on it and selling it to you for $500. That's It's because they got their name up like that. So if they could do it, anybody could do it. You feel what I'm saying? You just got to get your name up and you got to be known for having hot shit. You heard? But some of these brands, I won't even invest my money in because, you know what I mean? They not making shit that's quality like that. You feel what I'm saying? Shit fall apart, shit thin, get holy, threads come out like, I mean, I'm not going to be paying my money for that shit, my nigga. That shit got to be shit that's quality. You feel me? So if I'm fucking with this clothing shit, nigga, I'm trying to I'm trying to go more and more harder pause to, to get that high quality up. But them champion tie dollar hoodies, phew, I'm going to step those way up. That's just one. I'm going to step those way up. You know what I mean? I ain't even paying attention to none of these corny niggas. If you ain't showing, listen... If a nigga, you see a nigga, don't kick niggas out the chat room for hating. Now, I mean, if you got a wrench on your shit and you a moderator, because I need the haters in here. But if you ain't, if you ain't under your real YouTube account name, I'm not even motherfucking responding to a nigga. And then a nigga will get blocked if you just a troll talking mad shit, but you scared to show who you are. You pussy. At least Bullets Gotti come in under his real motherfucking account. You understand what I'm saying? If you just talking, your name is... LB or some crazy LG or some shit like that and you talking shit you scared my nigga you a nigga that either I punched in the face before because you know I punched a lot of niggas in the face in New York I'm gonna keep it real with you you understand what I'm saying I punched because a, a nice amount of niggas out there that you know they tried me and I punched them in their face you know niggas be trying this light skin curly hair nigga thinking it's a game but you know what I mean I told y'all niggas I'm light skin on the outside but I'm dark skin on the inside I will fuck one of y'all niggas up so you know what I mean but I'm, I'm a peaceful nigga. But like I said, if you ain't showing who you really are, you're a coward that I probably punched in the face before. I fucked your broad and you found out your broad is on my dick like a groupie and you found out or something of that, um, something of that magnitude. So I'm not going to argue back and forth with you if you a nigga like that because you just you just a coward, my nigga. I be in the streets by myself all day, every day. You on YouTube. Yo, you a bitch. That's corny, my nigga. I mean, that's corny. Or you a bitch that I fuck pretending to be a nigga. A bitch that I used to fuck that I cut off because your money was garbage. You understand what I'm saying? And now you mad. So, you know what I mean? We not getting into that. You know what I mean? But um, if you on your real YouTube account, you know what I mean? Where you could be found and you want to talk, you could talk all motherfucking day. But if you going to hide behind a joint, you got two subscribers, no videos uploaded. You understand what I'm saying? Bro, I ain't arguing with every motherfucking nigga with an LG free phone from Boost Mobile. We ain't doing that. You heard? And that's a fact. So, genpop.store, nigga. Go get your fucking merchandise. Haters and all. Go get your fucking merchandise, nigga. I'm coming. I got shit coming for the bitches, too. When you see the line of shit I got in the broads, oh, oh my God. I'm going to have your bitch wearing the shit that I put out, nigga. And that's a fact. Know what I mean? I will have your bitch rocking my shit, nigga. Loving it. You be really mad. You be beating her up every day. You heard? And she'll still be rocking that shit like this. Gym pop wife gang, nigga. Wife gang. Wait till I come out with the wife gang. Don't bite my shit because it's already done. Wife gang, nigga. I got the wives, team wives, baseball jersey that just say wives. Gen pop. Gen pop wives gang, nigga. You heard for all my niggas that's locked up and they wifey out here doing what they supposed to do and not running the streets like a fucking thot chasing these bum thot niggas, but handling their business for a nigga that's locked up. Not every corny nigga that's locked up, but niggas that's real niggas that's locked up for some bullshit and need to be home and, and, and don't deserve to be doing a bid like that because they real motherfuckers. The wife gang nigga, 
when I come out with them wife gang t-shirts and shorts and I come out with them gem pop, gem pop wives gangs joints, it's over, my nigga. It's over. Kiko, good looking on that bread, bro. I appreciate you. Yerp. New York's finest was popping. But it's like, yo, my nigga, let me see you up in the building. So I'm right in my mouth. St. Chris was really good. BX finest crew, 163rd, I see you. That's the hood hood, you heard? Real talk, my nigga. Hood politics was popping. Word. But yeah, man, we ain't address we ain't we ain't responding to no niggas hiding on YouTube. That's gay. You know what I mean? Real talk. But like, yo. Patterson was popping. Patterson Projects. That's that Patterson Projects kind of started the whole Rikers Island everything. You know what I mean? That was the project. Them niggas put out that motherfucking uh Scarface for Life. It wasn't just Patterson, I don't think, but it was mad niggas from Patterson on that DVD, my nigga, that Scarface for Life. That was the craziest Rikers Island documentary ever made, nigga. If you ain't see it, go on YouTube and watch it now, nigga. After you get off my live, that is. Now, I mean, go on YouTube and put Rikers Island Scarface for Life, nigga. The greatest Rikers Island documentary ever made. That shit sick with it. That shit is sickening, nigga. My stories, I my shit is light, nigga, compared to the shit niggas is talking on that Rikers Island. Niggas was bodying niggas in the 80s. I'm going to keep it real, my nigga. Now, I mean, in the 80s, 80s, and on Rikers Island, niggas was dying over those phones, my nigga. I'm going to keep it real. Not just getting cut or stabbed. Niggas was losing their lives over the over that phone time, my nigga. It was real. Which design you talking about? The wife design? I wish I could put it up on the screen right now, my nigga. I wish I could put that shit up on the screen. Know what I mean? Real fact. Shea Davis was on that. Shout out to Shea Davis. Know what I mean? That nigga got some funny fucking stories, too. Real talk. But like, yeah, man. I wish I could put that Wives logo. But I'll I post it in the joint. I have that shit on something. Like, I'm telling you, bro. I'm about to go wild. I'm about to go wild, bro. I mean, y'all gonna see it. Y'all gonna see it. I'm gonna blow it up. I'm gonna sell that shit for about 10 million. You heard? I'm gonna put the line out. And somebody gonna approach me from China like this. We'll buy your line for 10 million. I'll be like, give me that shit, nigga. Then I'm gonna go start a whole new line. Bang! You heard? That green shit I had earlier, that was the fat vegetarian hoodie. You heard? But let me tell you something about that Gen Pop fam design. Let me tell you something about that Gen Pop fam design. I hate this fucking computer. Every two seconds, you got to put your password in. got to take that shit off the sentence, my lord. This dumb shit, man. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all Negroes something right quick. Yo. This shit right here, bro. This Gen Pop, this Gen Pop fan bubble, bubble shit right here. You put that shit on any solid color, it's bubble bobble, baby. You put that shit on green, red, orange, yellow, whatever color that shit is on, that shit is bubble bobble. You know what I mean? But I love this shit. This is my favorite design right now. It's my favorite design. I'm going to have to get this design touched up to it and, and do other things with it. But it's like this prison gang joint. Cut to the chase, my nigga. You not even representing a brand with that. It's just it just says prison gang, nigga. You feel me? And that's fire. And I will be rocking those all day this summer. Trust me. I'm a sucker for orange, too. You heard? I love orange peach shit. I love it. As you can see, I'm a sucker for orange. I got these shits. I never wore these shits in my life, nigga. You heard? I bought these shits, nigga. I never wore these shits in my life. I had these shits for like, psh, literally, my nigga, I had these shits for like five months. Never wore these shits. They like mango. I didn't wear them because I'm not trying to pre I, Even though I got the joints, I got the joints to stop the creases and all of that. But it's just like, 
why am I wearing you if I'm not really, I'm not really, you know, not doing nothing. I'm just going to wear you around for nothing. Nah, I'm gonna let you get, I let everybody else go crazy, fuck they shits up, fuck y'all shits up to where this color becomes extinct. And then I come outside with them shits like this. Bloop, 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 bloop. Know what I mean? When these shits go extinct, nigga, and they on StockX for 350, that's when I come outside like this. Boop, 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 boop. Real talk. Nah, but I be bugging out. I don't be wearing shit, my nigga. I don't be wearing shit. Especially if it's a basketball sneaker. I don't really be rocking it because it's like I don't I don't really wear shorts and I ain't I don't really have no jeans. I gotta step my jean game up. So that I could wear some basketball sneakers. Because the basketball sneakers don't always be looking so great with sweats. They don't really blend with sweats like that. You feel what I'm saying? Nah, I'm not getting another pair. Because I ain't got bread like that, my nigga. That's another thing I'm going to tell y'all dudes about my clothing game. The shit you see me with wearing on the show and all of that. That's my regular ass clothes. So when you see me in the streets with those same clothes, don't be surprised, my nigga. Because I don't have a budget for a wardrobe just for the show. This is the shit that I wear in regular life all day, every day. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, and I'm about to blend my wardrobe with Gen Pop shit. It's going to get ugly, my nigga. That's how you got to do it. It's corny when you act like I don't wear nothing but my own brand. That's corny. I'm never going to lie to y'all and act like I'm not going to wear Nike and fucking whatever else. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm going to wear my own shit, too. But I ain't gonna stop wearing other brands because I like I like I like the other brands. You feel what I'm saying? These shits right here, 720s. I wore these shits one time. One time. You feel what I'm saying? You know why I wore these shits one time? My nigga, because I hate niggas. Like, listen, I'm on some Air Max shit. I, I'm not a Jordan head. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not a Jordan head. Now I mean I'm half Puerto Rican, so when it comes to my feet, the Puerto Rican came out. And I like Air Max. You understand what I'm saying? These shits, my nigga, 720s, bro, they sell out so fast. I think Nike kind of gave up on, on making them, my nigga. Like, I think they got, I think Nike got tired of producing them shits. Because when they come on the site, a pair of 720s, in 15 minutes, my nigga, I wear a size 12. That's a very common size. Bro, in 15 minutes, them shits gone. You know how long I've been looking for the all black 720s within my size for months. Can't find them nowhere. I'm not paying StockX prices. 400 and 500 for a pair of fucking $200 sneakers. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not doing that. I'm not being hustled like that. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm telling you. Now I mean, Freddy Acevedo was popping my nigga. But I'm telling you, certain sneakers, it, they niggas piss me off, my nigga. So Jordans, I gave up on. Like, I don't, I don't do that because niggas be, I'm not thirsty like that. I come from the era where when you wanted a pair of the newest Jordans, you walked into the motherfucking sneaker store with cash money and you bought them shits. You wasn't standing. Internet fucked the whole sneaker game up. This niggas standing in line and sleeping on the block and shit. Niggas having shootouts. Now, I mean, bro, it's not that serious over a pair of sneakers. Y'all niggas is going too hard over those. So I'm team Air Max, my nigga. I wear all type of shit, but I'm really team Air Max. So certain Air Maxes, niggas be so thirsty that when they, soon as they come out, niggas buy the whole fucking batch. You understand what I'm saying? Prime example, these shits right here. Bro, these is Air Max ones. These ain't them SCs that look like Air Max ones. If it don't got the, the check up front as well on the side, bro, these is ones. My nigga. I be wanting to punch somebody in Nike in the face because when these shits come out, bro, they be on the site for 24 hours and they are gone. You understand what I'm saying? And they're not an expensive sneaker, bro. They are $150. You understand what I'm saying? Niggas be buying every fucking pair that, that, that's out and available. And it's annoying, bro. So when I get my hands on that shit, I don't even wear it. I don't even wear it. I let the thirsty niggas go crazy wearing they shit, fucking they shit up. And when they gone and they on StockX for 500, boop, 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 come outside like this. What up? Real talk, my nigga. I let niggas fuck they shit up because niggas be thirsty. You heard? 
That should be a turnoff. You know what I mean? That should be a turnoff. So, like I said, Team Air Max. Now I'm starting to appreciate Adidas. Look at these shits right here, bro. These shits is these shits is only ninety dollars, my nigga. Ninety dollars. These ZX shits, I love these shits. But let me tell you, with Adidas, my nigga, they could put out thirty colors, and out of those thirty colors, I like two. You understand what I'm saying? Period, my nigga. I'm funny, like niggas' color schemes. <laughs> like, I don't know, but these shits right here, you rock this with an all black Adidas suit, good. Gen Pop fan black t-shirt in the middle with a zip up uh, Adidas sweatsuit, my nigga. All black, all black shit, white. Then you throw these colorful motherfuckers on your feet. You understand what I'm saying? And you walk through like this. You hurt? And you smash the game. 90 fucking dollars. I don't got to spend 300, 500 on a pit. $90. If you a fly ass nigga, you a fly ass nigga, my nigga. If you know how to pick clothing, you know how to pick clothing, my nigga. You ain't got to have $300 Jordans on your feet every time you step out or motherfucking, I mean, whatever other cra the crazy Yeezys and shit. Like, I was against Yeezys, nigga. My baby mom's forced a pair of Yeezys on me. You heard? She forced a pair. She like, nigga, you getting these Yeezys and you gonna wear them and when you get them, you gonna like them. I'm like, eh, I got them shits. I ain't gonna lie, though. I ain't even gonna hold you. Them shits may be the most comfortable pair of sneakers I ever put on my feet in my life, my nigga. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm not a fan of none of that crazy garlic, big, stupid, wild shit he be having. Now I mean, like, that's too much for me, my nigga. You understand what I'm saying? The weird colors and all of that is too much for me, my nigga. But these shits right here, these shits is decent. These shits is decent. You understand what I'm saying? I fucks with these shits. I ain't even gonna lie. Them shits be them shits be feeling like you floating and walking on air, my nigga. You heard? Them shits be like floating and walking on air. Like I ain't even gonna hold you. So I had to reevaluate. Even though I don't agree with half none of the shit Kanye West says, I have to respect the fact that this nigga actually made a sneaker that can contend with Jordans. You feel me? Jordan niggas pissed me off so much, I be looking for shit that can contend with the motherfuckers. So this nigga actually created a sneaker that's as popular as Michael Jordan sneakers. Like, I gotta take, I gotta tip my hat to that. You understand what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you did it with that. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I ain't even gonna hold you. Now these shits, let me show you these shits right here. Now, this is how I build my wardrobe, my nigga. I make a certain amount of money a month, and I, I try. Now I'm getting ready to get on some super disciplined shit because I got too much shit popping. But I take a percentage of the money I make a month, and I buy a sweatsuit, and I buy a pair of sneakers, and I chill the fuck out. As much as I want to buy 12 pairs of sneakers, bro, you buy a pair of sneakers a month. When your money is way up, you can buy two pairs of sneakers a month. And within seven, eight, nine months, your shit will be up. You feel me? I've done this several times before. Then it was a point in my time where I just was into cars and I didn't give a fuck about clothes. I'm, I'm, I was too dadded out. All I'm doing is taking my kids to school, picking up my kids from school. I never was doing nothing in the streets. I was, I was in the studio when I wasn't being a dad. I was in the studio recording. The only time I was getting fly is when I had a video to film or something like that. Because in my normal life... I'm dadded out, my nigga. I'm grabbing kids. I'm holding kids. I'm feeding kids. I'm spilling shit all over myself. I'm driving like a madman six in the morning. So I was like, fuck clothes in a wardrobe for a minute. You understand what I'm saying? Unless it's about some business. I ain't spending money on shit like that. Now I mean, I need my wheels on the motherfucking. Now I mean, but I always kept something brand new, bro. Or, or something crispy. Or fire. Now I mean, on them streets. I don't play those games. I play a lot of games. But I don't play whip games. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to be in a whip, nigga. I could be bummy and dusty. But I'm going to be... You're going to see me hopping out of something. But, um... Yeah, so... You know what I mean? I pace myself with this shit. And, and, and I make myself... My new shit starting next month. Like I said, nigga. One pair of sneakers a month. And... Either one... One costly pair of sneakers... 
and a reasonable price sweatsuit or one costly sweatsuit and a reasonable price pair of sneakers. And that's how you limit yourself, my nigga. And you will have, in, in, in three, four years, you got a wardrobe of the stars. You understand what I'm saying? Take your time and build your shit up. You feel me? And then I don't wear shit. I buy shit and I'm like, I ain't wearing that shit, my nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Wear my same black text. Give me my black text. I, I'm not wearing them, my nigga. I might have seven, eight tech suits, but I might wear two. You feel what I'm saying? Or three. And then when something pops off, I pop up with something crazy. You feel what I'm saying? But it's it's a slow process. I ain't got money to go spend 20, 30,000 on, on garments. Like, and then even if I did, I'm not buying, I'm not spending those type of amounts of money on. Like some niggas go crazy where every piece of footwear they got is motherfucking Gucci and red bottoms. And I'm not doing that, my nigga. Even if I'm rich, I'm not going to do too much of that. I might have one or two wild ass pair of joints, but I don't need all of that, my nigga. You understand what I'm saying? I don't like to overdo shit. You feel me? And alienate the people that's around me. I like to keep it simple so that the people, most people are simple. So I like to keep it simple so that most people that are around me, they can appreciate me. I don't need niggas looking at me like, oh, this nigga got to have, not I mean, Versace suits from head to toe all day, every day. It's just not my style. I don't like that amount of attention. You understand what I'm saying? I just like to be clean. Cleansliness is, is next to godliness. You feel me? But I don't need to, everything I wear is to blow niggas' minds. And nah, that's that's not my style, my nigga. I like, I like to chill out. You feel what I'm saying? And just be cool with my shit. But, um, so yeah, these sneaky niggas at night, they popped up with these nine fives. Now, let me tell you something. I, I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of nine fives no more. I used to be, but I wore them so much that I started hating them after a while. Like I had the blacks, I had a hundred pair. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say a hundred pair, but I had enough pair to make me kind of tired of nine fives and then everybody was wearing them shits and it's annoying. You feel what I'm saying? So they pop up with these nine fives. And I'm like, yo, I love them shits. Like, you know what I mean? White, gray with the neon green. Them shits is dope, right? So then after I ordered them shits, I got a habit of that. I order shit. And then I start looking at the picture again. I look at the picture. I'm like, what the fuck is that in the leather, though? Like, these niggas got, like, some other Nike print in the leather. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, what are y'all doing with that? Like, I don't be liking when y'all niggas do extra shit. But... I said, I'm sending those shits back. So I tried to call them niggas and cancel. Y'all want to cancel them shits. You know what I'm saying? They're like, yo, it's too late. They already shipped. I said, all right, whatever. When they come, I said, can I take these shits to a finish line or a foot locker whenever I went out? He's like, yeah, you can walk into a store and exchange them shit. So I said, all right. So when I got them shits, I said, let me see how I feel about them when I got them. So when I got them shits, I'm like, you really can't see that print like that unless you all up on them like that. Like, you can't really see these shits just walking down the street that is a print in them. You feel what I'm saying? So I said, all right, fuck it. I keep these shits. You heard? And I like them. Now, now they're dope. But Nike, stop doing extra shit, my nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Love ya. But we don't need we don't need extra shit. Just make it regular gray, bro. That's it. Nothing extra. It's all right, though. I like it. It's dope. But it just wasn't necessary. You understand what I'm saying? So next time, bro, just leave them shits alone. But yeah, man. But, bro, listen. I'm addicted to fucking sneakers just like the last nigga. But, you know, I just, the next nigga. But I just, I, I tone my addiction down, my nigga. I mean, sneakers and clothes and shit. Tone that shit down, bro. You gotta tone that shit down because you can't be spending all that fucking money on that shit. But, clothes and wardrobe is also an investment. See, now, if you're going to buy clothes as that's another thing, bro. I don't invest into any every brand. You know what I'm saying? Some of these brands, my nigga, they don't be they don't be doing right, man. Some of these brands don't be lasting, my nigga. Look at True Religion. Word, niggas are sneaky. You know what I mean? But it's like, yo, real talk. Look at True Religions, my nigga. Kiko was popping. You know what I mean? My favorite whip. I don't know, bro. I love cars. I love all type of cars. Real talk. Yeah, that that ancient mushroom. Shout out to my bro Darius that's on that new New York City Unexplained. Let me tell y'all something about that New York City Unexplained too right quick. It ain't always going to be a ghost story. Sometimes it's going to be niggas talking mystic shit. You understand what I'm saying? Because we just got to get our minds from thinking, thinking in the box all the time. 
You feel me? It's other beliefs out there, other belief systems, other wild shit. You feel what I'm saying? So we got to hear people out. You understand what I'm saying? I got my set of beliefs. Other motherfuckers got their set of beliefs. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm open to hearing everybody's understanding of things. You feel what I'm saying? Because you never know what's motherfucking true in this world, my nigga. We all think we right and know all of the answers to things, but we don't know shit probably. You know what I mean? Like that nigga Pac said, we probably in hell already. Our dumb ass is not knowing. Everybody kissing ass to go to heaven ain't going. Put my soul on it. I'm fighting devil niggas daily. Plus the media, you'll be cruising, motherfucker. Plus the media, you'll be crucifying brother civilly. That nigga was blacking. Now, I never fucked with the mushrooms even, my nigga. I never fucked with the mushrooms. I'm scared to fuck with shit like that. I feel bad because me and my man had a kind of like a fallout because he got mad at me because I told him, he, was, he said some shit about mushrooms and I told him, yo, nigga, that's some... That's some punk rock bullshit, nigga. What you a punk rock white boy now? And he got mad. You feel what I'm saying? But, you know, that is some science, bro. Mushrooms is mad old. So, you know what I mean? And, you know, they grow off of the energy of the sun. The sun's light is everlasting. It's been here since the, it has no beginning and end. It's been here forever. So, the mushrooms, they so old. They're ancient. They contain the mysteries. The sunlight is the it contains the knowledge of everything on the planet Earth. So, if... If, if the mushrooms is here since the beginning of time, like, them shits contain some of the mysteries of the, the, the histories of the planet Earth. You feel what I'm saying? So, when you tap, when you taking them shits, it ain't that you just freaking out and bugging out. Them shits is opening up motherfucking, you know, opening up universal portholes, my nigga, that, you know what I mean? You looking through the universe in different, in different dimensional shit, like, I don't believe that. We just some motherfucking people on the planet Earth that's supposed to get old, have wives and kids, a car, white picket fence and a dog, and then die of, you know what I mean, die of heart failure at, fail at 80 years old. It, of course there's a purpose to this shit. What the fuck we here for? As intelligent as this race of people are, like, you understand what I'm saying? Of course that intellect comes from a higher intellect. Of course it comes from something that has a purpose and a meaning. You feel what I'm saying? But we also have free will. If the science behind free will is, I mean, we got a right to, to, to choose how the fuck we want to live. Nigga, if we want to live ungodly and, 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 and disconnected from the universe and God, then we got the will, the free will to do that. You feel what I'm saying? So when people say, oh, if there was a God or if there was a higher power, how does planes fall out the sky to snap? Because man has free will, my nigga. That was the promise. And we could do whatever the fuck we want to do. And we could die however the fuck we want to die. You understand what I'm saying? But... Are we supposed to just live like that? Or are we supposed to at one time or another get connected with, with, with the universe and God and, and find out what the fuck we here for? You understand what I'm saying? What's the real purpose of this shit? Like, what's the what, what's the marathon that we running? Like, what are we running this shit for? You feel what I'm saying? So, of course, those if you're if you a smart nigga, these thoughts is going to run across your mind. So, you got to listen to all religions, all dialects, all everything. I'm, I'm, I'm totally not biased. I'm unbiased with shit like that. I listened to a nigga shit. I've heard, I knew niggas that were straight Christians, my nigga. Straight Christians. I'm going to tell this story soon. And I mean, how I was in this program called Maximize Manhood up north. Pause. You heard? And in Maximize Manhood, they would have guests, like real crazy guests, Christian guests. And some of these niggas was deeper than a motherfucker, my nigga. Some of these niggas was deeper than a motherfucker to a point where I want to have to do a whole story. Shout out to my nigga Murder Uno that's in the building. The world famous Murder just entered the chat room. The nigga who y'all love his stories and the nigga whose stories be having me on the floor crying. I be having to mute the shit so that y'all can't hear me laughing sometimes. You feel what I'm saying? Because that nigga is so funny, yet so brutally animalistic. Know what I mean? But nah, shout out to my nigga Murder that's in the building. Brownsville Taps got the fuck is popping. Know what I mean? But like, yeah, bro. But it maximized manhood pause. Know what I mean? <sighs> bro, like I said, I'm not even going to ruin it and not tell the story, but I'm going to give y'all a piece of it. Pause. This nigga used to cut. This nigga came into class one day. This nigga was a white nigga. He was a Christian nigga. You understand what I'm saying? But he was an Egyptologist. And he had studied in Egypt for like two years straight, like in the pyramids. You feel what I'm saying? He had pictures. Oh, he had everything. That nigga told me some things. This is a straight white nigga with blonde hair, blue eyes. You understand what I'm saying? Like real, not mean motherfucking uh, Caucasian white dude. And he, this nigga was fucking dropping jewels. And he was like, yo, he said, yo, let me tell y'all something about the pyramid. Like we used to be like, yo, what you saw in the pyramids? Like he was like, first of all, it's certain rooms in that motherfucker in pyramids that you can't even go in, my nigga. 
You can't even go in unless it's a certain time of the year. Because that shit is designed to take your life if you even go in that room in a certain time out, out of a certain time of year. This is how dynamic these shits was. That nigga was telling me shit like, yo, I done took a dull ass knife that won't cut shit. I lay that shit in a certain room in the pyramid that's known for, that room is just known for like bringing clarity or whatever the fuck that particular room is known for in the pyramid. Nigga say he put that knife in that shit, come back the next day, that shit be razor sharp, my nigga. Razor sharp. He, yo, he was telling us all type of crazy shit. You feel what I'm saying? But some of the shit, I, some of the videos, because there's two maximized manhoods. There's one, part one and part two. I was in both. Part two, my nigga, psh, niggas was showing us videos from, that's how I first ran across, uh, like, Wanda, uh, I think it's Wanda Clark, Wanda Sykes. Um, the chick who made, uh, the, 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 the woman who made a documentary called No More Sheets is a Christian documentary. It's like, you know, her testimony. If you never saw that, go watch that. No More Sheets. It's on YouTube for free. If you got a wife, if you got a girlfriend, make her watch that shit, nigga. That is what, if you need to unthought abroad, if you need to de-thought abroad and give her knowledge yourself, Put that motherfucking no more sheets on, bro. Put no more sheets on. And make her watch no more sheets, that documentary. No woman could watch that shit without crying tears, my nigga. Listen to her story. Now, I mean, T.D. Jakes and all them niggas, he had a squad. Like, I'm talking about way back in the days. He had a squad of, of, of preachers, bro. And each one of them, they was like the Justice League. You heard? Bro, I'm going to tell you, I heard some of the deepest shit in the world on these joints. Like a nigga was breaking down. He was like, yo, your testicles will testify. This is why they called the testes, because in the day of judgment, they will testify and tell what you did sexually. You understand what I'm saying? How you defile. Yo, the nigga was breaking it down. How the penis is a motherfucking altar, my nigga. That's the altar. And your balls, the testicles are the, are, are the fucking, are the witnesses to what you do on that altar. You understand what I'm saying? Yo, this nigga, yo, bro, this nigga, he was a black nigga. He was fucking bombing, bombing to a point where I was like, oh my, if I've, I've been looking for that video because I forgot some name. I forgot everything, bro. I've been looking for that shit forever, bro. The nigga was, yo, he was breaking down all the body parts and what and what they're going to say in the afterlife. Yo, the nigga was going crazy, bro. He was going crazy. He was breaking down the meanings of the names and the etymology. That's my favorite science, etymology. You hear me? Listen, if you ever seeking for the truth, study etymology, the study of words and where the words came from. And they reveal everything. They it, The study of that science will reveal the hidden meanings yo you read the bible there's a book called the etymology of the bible oh my god listen bro if you break down the bible with etymology my nigga you will lose your mind at how much knowledge is in that fucking bible my nigga you will lose your motherfucking mind my nigga don't get me started I mean, Genesis, I just was breaking this down for somebody. Genesis, the science, I mean, Jacob. They show Jacob grafting in the Bible. We spoke about this before. This is facts that he's grafting in the Bible, my nigga. And the sheep is, they don't, re don't really represent people. It represents the thoughts of man. Grafting the thoughts of man. Jacob, the subplanter, his name, Yaqub, means the subplanter. He plants things in your subconscious mind like he planted shit in the subconscious mind of the sheep that he was grafted in the fucking Bible. This is all in the Bible, bro. Put motherfucking type in on, on Google. Jacob says, give me all spotted and be speckled sheep. And it's going to come up with the with the chapter and the verses. And he took he took the black sheep and turned them into white sheep. And we dealing with the science of the submissive mind. And how he did it was when the sheep came to drink at the river stream, he would set up the bamboo sticks in a certain way that every time they came to drink, the bamboo sticks had more and more white spots in it. You understand? So every day they saw more and more white spots until they came and saw a completely white bamboo stick. 
And then the sheets began to be born white. Now, of course, this is allegory and it's metaphors and symbology, but we're dealing with the science of um, programming people's subconscious mind to be submissive sheets. You understand what I'm saying? So it's all in the Bible, my bro. I ain't, this is nothing I'm making up or discovered. It's all in the Bible. And Jacob's ladder, there Jacob slept that night. And a ladder set up upon the earth and the angels ascended and descended on the ladder. What ladder? What ladder? And then he says, surely this is the house of God. And I knew it not, my nigga. This is in the Bible. He said, yo, surely this is the house of God. And I knew it now. Knew it not. Talking about the human body, my nigga. The, the Jacob's ladder was the spinal column, my nigga. The angels and the, the angels ascending and descending, bro. You feel what I'm saying? From the lower self, base sexual self, to the higher self, the heaven. From heaven to hell, the angels ascended and descended to the earth. To the earth. Let me not say hell. The angels descended to earth. Earth is just is your earthly chakra, your first chakra. Your higher self, you feel me? That's heaven. When you reach your higher self, bro, and you're not no longer living in the, in the earthly realm, but you're living up here. You understand what I'm saying? That's heaven. So this is in the Bible where they breaking all of these things down. So when we say we G-O-D, it's just, we, I'm not just saying I'm G-O-D because it sound good. I'm saying that shit because this is what the ancient mysteries have taught. Surely this is the temple of God and I knew it not. You feel me? Mm -hmm. the, pe the pineal gland, they, that's in the Bible, bro. That's in the Bible. They tell you it's right there in the Bible. Now I mean, Jacob rose upon the land and he set upon the land. He named the land. He named... He named the land Pinal. You feel what I'm saying? Or Penal. Or however the fuck they pronounce it. But it tells you in the Bible, my nigga, where he wrestled with the angel. When Jacob wrestled with the angel until the sun came up. The reason why. And then when the sun came up, the angel said, yo, I got to go. I got to go. Let me go. Now, I mean, that angel is the hormones, the melatonin and the serotonin. You feel what I'm saying? Once the sun comes up, your brain starts producing serotonin. So he was wrestling with the melatonin angel right there, the melatonin, the liquid universe. He was wrestling with him. And when the sun came up, the melatonin angel was like, yo, I got to go. I got to go. You understand what I'm saying? Because the sun is about to produce serotonin. You feel me? So we dealing with the science of the hormones and the functionalities of the brain. When we talking about we G-O-D and when we talking about we one with a law. Law is the all in all, the universe, all of the energy that exists within the universe. Cats, dogs. Rats, motherfucking humans, sharks, everything is one, bro. One energy, all in all. And I mean the arm, leg, leg, arm, head, the five point star. Like, listen, let me stop getting crazy. But um, let's just say it's all in the Bible, baby. It's all in the Bible. And remember, the Bible, the remixes, the hundred remixes of the Bible we have now, that's not the original books. The original books come out of Ethiopia. The first the five books of the first five books of Moses. Now I mean the Torah. Now I mean that shit came out of Ethiopia, my nigga. You heard? That shit came out of Ethiopia. That shit was written in Ethiopia. You feel me? So who made the Holy Quran the Bible? How long ago? And when you tell us why does Islam renew its history every 25,000 years? 25,000 years, we dealing with the we dealing with the positions of the stars in the universe. Now I mean, we dealing with the Milky Way. We dealing with the motherfucking position of the stars that those stars is major energy forces that have an influence on the planet. You feel what I'm saying? So we think we out here just nigga, we out here going according to what's going on in the universe. Now, my nigga, all of those stars, you think them shits don't have gravitational pulls themselves? You think it's only our sun that has a gravitational pull? Nah, nigga, we got stars all over the universe that affect what goes down on the planet Earth. You feel me? That's the science behind astrology. You feel what I'm saying? So this shit go deep, bro. But back to sneakers. Nah, let me stop. I'm the only nigga I go for motherfucking sneakers. I go from Jordans to motherfucking the Milky Way in three seconds, nigga. You heard? Let me stop, man. But that's a fact, my nigga. Pittsburgh, what up? Move music was popping. Yeah, bro. You know what I mean? Jacob named him, he named the land P Nil. You know what I mean? Real talk. And the son, he wrestled with the angel overnight. And he, 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 under, he reached a certain level of consciousness. 
This is when he says, I mean, his name was changed from Jacob to Israel. The name Israel means either the, the, the one who has fought with God and prevailed or one who has seen God and prevailed. Remember, he Jacob told the angel, before I let you go, you got to bless me. Like, nigga, he dealing, dealing with the science of the melatonin, nigga, the melanin. Nigga said, yo, everybody has melanin, not just black people, white people, Asians, everybody brain is producing melatonin. So boom, some some at a, a long, uh, larger rates than others. But nigga said, yo, nigga said, I won't let you go until you bless me, nigga. He told the angel, he said, first of all, it doesn't say angel in the Bible. It said he wrestled with a man. You heard? Him fucking self, nigga, his lower self and his higher self. But they say angel because we dealing with the science of the mystic powers of the melatonin. You feel what I'm saying? But nigga said there he wrestled with a man overnight until the breaking of the day, until the sun came up. And then the man said, I have to go. And he said, I won't let you go until you bless me. And he said, from now on, your name is no longer Jacob. But Israel, for you have seen the face of God and prevail, nigga. He told him, you have seen the face of God and prevail. What God got to do with wrestling with a man? He's telling him, you figured out, bro, that you are God. You figured out that you are Haitian queen. Good look, and I appreciate that love. You heard? That's the people's Haitian queen. You know what I mean? We got the same birthday, June 12th, 666 gang. You heard? But it's like, yo, check it, right? Jacob, he told him, he said, your name is Israel, my dude, because you've seen the face of God and prevailed. And then when he left, he named the land Pino, Pino, Pino gland, the third eye, my nigga. And let's talk about the science of the third eye. Let's talk about, we're gonna talk about why, we wanna talk about why we say we God body. Let's talk about the science of the third eye. First of all, if you understand, first of all, it's certain. Listen, it's a lot of it's 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 some truth to to Darwin's theory, my nigga. Like it gets shot down and shit like that, and it's hard. I know it's rough. We say we've been here since the beginning of time and shit like that, bro. But evolution is a motherfucker, and the pe the pineal gland, right? The pineal gland, your third eye, is literally an eye, my nigga. It is literally. <laughs> An eye. It has been surgically and biologically proven that the pineal gland is an eye that has been buried in the middle of the uh, in the middle of your brain. The reason why they know it's an eye because when they dissected it, they found rods, rays, and everything else that makes up an eyeball. But as evolution took place, this is the theory. As evolution took place, that eye began to Instead of having third three eyes, the eye moved back into the brain and we had two eyes and the third eye moved in, in, as, as evolution continued, moved into the brain. So literally, you have a eyeball in your brain called the pineal gland and it's shaped like a pineapple. That's why they call it the pineal gland. You understand what I'm saying? I like to say penal gland. I don't know why, but it's pineal gland. You feel what I'm saying? So. It has been scientifically proven. You could get Gray's Anatomy. You could do whatever you want to do. It's been sci scientifically proven that the pineal gland is actually an eyeball, brother. It is actually an eyeball that has been lodged into the middle of your brain. So when we say we have a third eye, it is not just talk. There is actually a third eye lodged in the middle and frontal lobe of your brain called the pineal gland. And that eye is not meant to see without is meant to see within. You feel me? So they say 40% of adults or something like that have an atrophied pineal gland, meaning their shit doesn't work. It's hardened and it's just a hard piece of matter that does not work. But there are a percentage of people who their pineal gland is not atrophied and it's active and ready to go. And when you become in tune with it, you get to tap into different levels of the universe that will feed you the jewels you need to be successful in life and to do the right things in life, to say the least, right? 
So in even people who have an atrophied penile gland, there's oils and minerals that you can take that will deatrophy that shit and, and help you lock back into your third eye. You feel what I'm saying? So when the Egyptians had that little cobra sticking out they shit, it's because they knew and understand that the pineal gland was right in the middle of the forehead. And when the sun comes up, the pineal gland is like a little snake. It lifts up like this. So at nighttime, it's laying down like that. But then when the sun comes up, it lifts up a little bit. So they call it the good serpent. So that's why they put the cobra there. You feel what I'm saying? That pineal gland, my nigga, will tap you into the universe. You feel what I'm saying? Where you can find real peace and harmony. You know what I mean? And these are the reasons why we call ourselves God. You know what I mean? Because it's deeper than yo, you know what I mean? God because, you know what I mean? Black man, and it's, it goes it goes deeper, bro. It goes deeper. You feel what I'm saying? And we got to know and understand why we call ourselves God. You feel me? And what makes a nigga God? You feel what I'm saying? So, this nigga sound mad ignorant. What makes a nigga God? You know what I mean? But nah, on some G shit though, we got to know and understand these sciences, the whole human body. Like, as I get older, I'm starting to, you know, have an appreciation. You got to have an appreciation for all your arteries and all of that, bro. You know what I mean? Your kidneys, your livers, your heart. Like, you know what I mean? Like, all of that shit, you gotta appreciate that shit, bro. You know what I mean? Real talk. But um, the Bible was serious. The Bible be talking about all of that. Like, I had niggas tell me, like, yo, nigga, Bethlehem is the heart, but Jerusalem is the brain, or Jerusalem is the brain and Bethlehem is the heart. When Jesus made made his pilgrimage, when Jesus migrated from Bethlehem to the heart, they talking about how the chakras, one chakra ignites the other chakra until you reach the final chakra. You feel what I'm saying? And the, the, the Jesus represents the Christ-like energy that exists within all humans that rise up the chakras ladders and light up each part of the chakra until you become God on the planet living and breathing like like I said bro this shit run deep you heard this shit run deep so genpop.store go cop your merchandise the New York City unexplained merchandise is coming too it's gonna be ugly you heard it's gonna be ugly my nigga murder owe me a story about those avias that he never gave me or how he got it on now I mean over a pair of some high top avias. Nigga never gave me that story. Now I mean, but that's gonna be the next story for murder, you heard? Now I mean? About how he had to put the beats on something over some high top avias back in the days. You heard? Now I mean, cause this this channel is different, man. It's different. We're doing different things here, man. Word up, man. Yo, that no more sheets, my brother. Yo, yeah, that's the science behind the prostration mark. When Muslims pray and they get the dark mark in their forehead right here, that's the science because that dark mark, that melanin mark, it attracts more sunlight. So the more you pray, that they say that the, in the Quran, I think it's in the Quran, but Muslims say that um, when you go to the afterlife, your prostration mark is going to shine. However, however much times you made prayer, it's gonna show by how much times you you put your head your, your forehead on that ground, bro. You feel what I'm saying? So that dark ass mark Muslims be having, that feeds the penal gland. The sun is attracted to, to blackness. You understand what I'm saying? Light is attracted to dark. So as you put that dark mark in the middle of your forehead where the penal gland is at, when you walk the streets, that sunlight is shining on that. So when you make your prayer. Your prayers get more vivid and more realistic as you become the, the more years you put in with that dean and that religion. You feel me? I know dudes, they whole forehead was black, my nigga. Cause that's how much work they put in with that with 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 that with that prayer. You feel me? And that darkness is just attracting light to the penal gland, which opens up your mind where you understand what a law is more. You feel what I'm saying? So all religions got some deep motherfucking sciences and truths behind them, bro. It ain't no religion that's wrong. You understand what I'm saying? No real religion that's wrong. They all have the same foundation, but man, over the course of thousands of years, they gonna fuck up the interpretations of things. You feel what I'm saying? But if you trace shit back to the roots, you're gonna learn. Real talk. My nigga Murder just spoke about that. We used to speak, speak about that up north. 
You feel what I'm saying? The science behind the dark prostration mark and all of that. You know what I mean? Because a lot of niggas don't know. My nigga Murder, like, he may be brutal on his channel, but he's one of the deepest motherfuckers I ever met. And that's how we became man's like. We was both on our deep shit. You understand what I'm saying? And not too many niggas could handle, my, not too many niggas could handle the type of level of intellectualism I was building on. And he was a nigga who was able to handle that pause. So, you know what I mean? Me and him started vibing because, you know what I mean? We was A like self for real, you know what I mean? But we be, we used to be bombing niggas up north. Forget about it. Niggas ain't even want no problems with us. We ain't even had to bomb niggas because niggas knew. Stay away unless you ready for nuclear blasts. You know, the Kundalini is the fiery serpent. Now I mean that's the that's that the kundalini is all your chakras lit up till it gets to the top of your shit. And what people don't know is the brain and spinal column is shaped like a cobra. This is why the Egyptians had the cobra popping. Because the if you look at the base of a spine, goes up like this, like a snake, and at the top, your brain looks like the head of a cobra. You feel me? That is the kundalini. The fiery serpent, when you light up all of the chakras on your motherfucking fiery serpent, that's when the cobra is, is in you, nigga. That's the science behind Serpentor from G.I. Joe and all of that, my nigga. You understand what I'm saying? That cobra means shit. See, in the West, we owe cobra snakes evil, but cobras represent, snakes represent discipline, my nigga. Discipline. A snake will stay still for three days to, cap, to, to get his prey. If it needs to, you feel what I'm saying? Discipline and focus. That's what snakes really represent. So all of this shit got science, bro. You know what I mean? Real talk. But like, yeah, man. That Kundalini nigga, fiery serpent. I mean, this is the science behind you being God. You know what I mean? You being one with a law. You know what I mean? Like, like my bro Darius said, when you take that cup, that empty cup, and you dip it down into the ocean and the ocean water fills that cup. Is there any difference between the water in that ocean and the water in that cup? Of course not. Only difference is the cup and that's your body. But what flows through your body is the energy of a law and God, bro. You feel what I'm saying? And that's, and that's a fact. Real talk. But yeah, man, genpop.store. Go to genpop.store right now, browse the merchandise, buy you a t-shirt, fall is coming, see, I'm different. Summertime, I ain't doing nothing but shopping for fall clothes, my nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Because in New York, summer be two months and then it be cold for the rest of the motherfucking year. So I buy some shit for the summer, but I mostly buy fall shit. You understand what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm a hoodie nigga, so what I mean? I'm going to be hoodied out and shit like that, so... I buy for the fall, bro. I don't even care about the summer. I get my t-shirts. T-shirts is cheap. You understand what I'm saying? T-shirts is cheap, but fall, fall wear and winter wear, that shit ain't cheap. I mean, so I stack that shit in the summer. Shit be on sale. They be slipping. You know what I mean? I'd be like, oh, word. Y'all niggas putting that color on sale because it's summertime? Let me get that. Never. But like, yeah, man. LAZ, man. LAZ, I'm hot as a motherfucker. I don't got the AC on because it shit be coming out on the shit. But I'm, I'm wilding without that AC on. I'm bugging out. I might have to turn that on. Hold on. Hold on, goddamn. Hold on, goddamn you. Hold on, goddamn you. I'm in here roasting like a real preacher. Roasting, baby. Shit, I got, I just got, I got a few joints, bro. I got a few night tech joints, you know what I mean? I got some shit. I'm, 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 I'm just getting started with this shit, though, my nigga. Like, all this shit is fall shit. You ain't wearing none of this hot shit right now. You feel what I'm saying? It's that motherfucking, it's that polo club shit right here. I love this shit. This shit is dope. This Cubs hoodie, they got the New York one too, but it don't it don't look as green as the Cubs joint. I'm gonna keep it real. The red one do though. Then I be on my Z and E shit, my nigga. My D to Z and E shit. Like a lot of niggas don't be fucking with that Z and E. I fuck with that Z and E. That's like 
That's like the competition for Night Tech with Adidas, you heard? So they be putting other Adidas shit on sale, but they don't be really putting that Z&E on sale too much. Unless it's the summertime and it's full shit. But I love Z&E, man. That shit is dope. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm about to start an inner war between Night Tech and Adidas Z&E out this bitch. See who wins, you heard? And then I like Champion too, man. I'm an old school Brooklyn nigga, you heard? So I be fucking with that Champ Dog too, man. Niggas don't be fucking with that Champ. I be fucking with that Champ Dog, but it's different levels of Champ. They got the regular bullshit, and then they got the reverse weave shit. The reverse weave shit be the shit that's a little costly, you heard? So I really only be fucking with the reverse weave suits. They high quality. They The way they fit, they just make you... They just make you feel like I'm that nigga, you heard? The reverse weave shit, like not all reverse weave shit, but the higher end reverse weave shit, you can look at that shit and tell that it's made at a different level from other bullshit, you heard? But um, the reverse weave champion shit, I fucks with that. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it's only certain, like you might go in the champion suit, um, champion site, and they got like 20 sweatsuits, it's like, for those sweatsuits that's like them shits ain't going on sale them shits ain't motherfucking they always out of stock cause niggas buy like Z and E shit pisses me off like I said you go on fucking Adidas everything Z and E in a normal adult size sold out then they got some other shit Adidas got that's on a whole nother level that they got sweatsuits them shits 800 and 600 and all of that like I'm not doing that just yet you understand what I'm saying but um yeah, man. Like, I was looking at that documentary, that nigga, the nigga who make Balmain, I didn't know he was a young black nigga. You heard? The nigga, um, the nigga who make that, that brand Balmain. Son, that nigga shit be ridiculous, bro. Thousand dollars for a pair of jeans, 900 for a pair of jeans. See, I'm not even gonna lie to you and act like I'm gonna be doing that. I'm not gonna be doing four and five pair of those. But then you say that, but then if I get 47 million, who the fuck cares about $800? So, you know, depends on a nigga bag, man. Depends on a nigga bag, my nigga. But even if my bag is stupid, I would never get too crazy. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not getting too crazy. Jewelry Eve, I'm not going to get too crazy. But I'm going to tell you like this. I'm going to get a motherfucking grill, my nigga. So I'm giving y'all niggas that warning now. So that when I get it, y'all don't say, oh, the nigga last got some money. You understand what I'm saying? And now the nigga... Now I mean you want some grill. Listen, I've been I've been supposed to got a grill. I didn't get my shit. Now I mean, because of circumstances that took place. But trust me when I tell you, bro, I am going to pop up with a wild grill. I don't know if I'm gonna get my shit all 18 karat regular gold and the gap iced out or my whole shit iced out. I'm not sure just yet. You feel what I'm saying? But I am gonna pop up with a wild crazy grill and I want to see how my stories do being told with a wild crazy grill you know what I mean see if see if that shit makes the views go up if it does it's over bro grill game you heard yeah I ain't have a pair of jeans in a long time my brother like I, I'm kind of out the jeans loop man but I need some jeans though I need I need yeah, I might, I might just get the shit 18 carat, either eight at the bottom, eight at the top, 18 carat, and then the, and then my gap, two big fucking rocks in that shit, like, bomb, two big ass rocks, like, you feel me? My shit looking crazy. Or I want to see how my shit look with the ice, iced out 18, I mean the 18 carat all go with the gap in the middle. See how that shit look with the gap still there. All my shit 18 carat, like, know what I mean? I ain't, I don't even want to put 14 carat. I'm probably going to put 18 carat in my mouth, man, boy. But it's like, yeah, man. I'm going to get ugly, bro. I'm going to get ugly. But yeah, my nigga. Nah, I'm getting 18 carat gold because I need my shit yellow and gleaming. I need my shit. I need that gold gleaming, my nigga. And if I was to just get 18 carat solid regular shit, like so regular, shit, be Dumb gleamy, my nigga. Should be dumb gleamy. I'm telling you. But I'm getting something. I'm getting something wild. Know what I mean, I'm gonna get something wild. Know what I mean, start off with something light. 
And I mean, start off with something like five or six thousand in the nigga grill. But when my money get up, put about 30. Put about 30 in my shit, nigga. Real talk. You know what I mean? And I ain't gonna have my shit on every day because I got kids and shit. I ain't gonna be walking around with my son looking like motherfucking. I ain't doing that. You know what I mean? But when it comes down to that camera game, this camera time, that grill gonna be on deck, my nigga. It's gonna be on deck. And I'm gonna get a wild ass ring. I've had numerous rings. But the next ring I get, I'm gonna get some wild shit, nigga. And it's gonna be, it ain't gonna be no big, dumb, wild hip hop shit. It's gonna be some, some first of all, I'm gonna get an eternity. I'm gonna get a, a wedding ring because I'm married to the motherfucking game. You heard? I'm married to the motherfucking game. So I'm gonna get the iced out eternity bracelet. I mean, eternity ring, 18 carat. I don't even know how many carats of ice I'm gonna put in that shit. And that shit just gonna be a wedding band on my shit that's iced the fuck out, 18 carat solid. You heard? Ice the fuck out. Now I means like, are you married? Now I'm married to the motherfucking game, nigga. I'ma have that. My grill. I'ma have a light ass motherfucking um shit like this. I won't even be doing. But I'ma have a light ass motherfucking um tennis chain. That's about this thick. With real fucking diamonds. You understand what I'm saying? White gold or yellow gold, I don't know yet. And I'ma be chilling, my nigga. I ain't gonna be doing no mad big bulky crazy shit. None of that, my nigga. Light ass diamond chain, motherfucking eternity bracelet, grill. You heard? And I'm be acting dumb. Hold on, I think somebody ringing my shit. Hold on. tell you bro the type of gold I'm gonna get nigga my shit shiny nigga shiny shiny you know what I mean shiny shiny I ain't playing no games my nigga I got a couple of pair of vapes I fuck with them vapes bro I fuck with them vapes I had these shits for a while too, and I ain't wear these shits either because, like I said, I let thirsties get them first, let them run through them, and then I'm on my job. But I like these shits. The soul be a little bit OD sometimes. Like, should be a little bit OD sometimes. But, um, I fuck with them vapos. You know what I mean? I fuck with them vapos. I'll pop up on the scene with these like this. Real talk. I don't be wearing my vapes like that, man. Shit is loud, you heard? Gotta be in a loud ass mood. These shit is red. These my motherfucking Puerto Ricans. These my Puerto Ricans, baby. When I'm in my Puerto Rican mood, I throw these on, red joints like this. Step my shit up though, bro. You know what I mean? I don't like every Vapor Max either. Like, some of them colors be looking too alien. Y'all niggas making alien shit. Like, I ain't an alien, nigga. You heard? I ain't an alien. I ain't gonna be wearing this shit that got me looking like motherfucking the Predator and all of that. Like, they be having them. Some of them shits be a little bit OD for me. And that's a fact. Then I do plain shit too. Like, I do plain shit like. Regular all black MMDs, my nigga. I love them. I love MMDs, you heard? Adidas, like I said, they make 10,000 colors and I only feel a few. But these shits right here, my nigga, are super comfortable. They only be like a buck 50, you heard? They super comfortable and they just, they just give you a certain swag with your walk, man, that's 
I mean, it's, it reminds me of the 90s and the late 80s. You feel what I'm saying? Like, just the way, the way that they, the way they make you feel. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I don't know. It's hard to explain. But um, it's a classic sneaker, man, MMDs. I love them shits, bro. I had a few pair. I had a red fucked up my other joints. You understand what I'm saying? These is M NMDs too. You know what I mean? These just is NMDs too. And trust me, when you wear them, it's just different, man. They go with some shit. Like, you know what I mean? When I just want to be on my black and red ignorant shit, throw these shits on. I'm not a big fan of like the new, like these the new like 2021 joints, I think. So they got this shit on the shit and all of that. I'm not really a big fan of that. But the comfort and shape of them, which is decent, bro. You know what I mean? They some, they some good Adidas. You know what I mean? But um, I got to get another one of these shelves because this shit is standing there filled up. You know what I mean? And I ain't going to just not, I'm not going to act like I ain't going to buy no new sneakers. So eventually they got to get another shelf. I ain't, I'm, I'm not on that shit. I was listening to some shit the nigga Tracy Morgan. Nigga, I forgot what type. I think that nigga said he got 10,000 pair of sneakers. You heard? Something crazy like that. Nigga got like 10,000 pair of sneakers. So when I hear shit like that, I don't feel bad at all, my nigga. I got a few pair of sneakers. Niggas like Tracy Morgan got 10 racks. I don't even know where I would house. I couldn't even house 10,000 pair of sneakers. You feel what I'm saying? They just got whole houses. They got a house for his sneakers. Fuck around. You heard? But, um, he said some shit that had me laughing, though, that it was real, though. He was like, yo, man. Nigga was like, yo, listen, man. He said, I'm a regular nigga from Brooklyn. He said, I don't give a fuck about none of this Hollywood shit, none of this money shit. He said, all I ever wanted was some new sneakers, man. Stay a little bit fresh with some new sneakers. He said, that's all I ever really wanted, man. He said, so now that I'm a millionaire and shit, he said, I just give my money to my family, let my family enjoy their life. He said, but me, what makes me happy is new sneakers, man. So that's all I really give a fuck about, man. I mean, some new kicks, my little whip, I'm good. And I understand that, my nigga. Like, sometimes niggas complicate their own happiness. Like, you feel me? Keep this shit simple, my nigga. You feel me? I don't, I don't need much. I don't need yachts and shit like that. Like, you feel me? You chillin', man. Nigga chill. Nigga don't be bummy. I mean, where I come from, the hood I come from, it's, it's successful just not to be a bummy nigga. Like, you feel me? Just not being a bummy nigga, you done made it, nigga. I know niggas that got like 80, 100 pair kicks. I'm not, I don't, I'm not as bad as those dudes. You feel what I'm saying? I know niggas that got hundreds of pairs of sneakers. I run through sneakers and I throw them shits away, bro. I'm mad. A, a lot of sneakers I fucked up that I ain't take care of. And now them shits is classics, man. I mean, I just ran through a pair of crazy Bo Jacksons. Them shits was delicious. I ran through, but wearing them shits in a snowstorm a couple of times. And that's all it took is them couple of times. Just got scratched on ice. Ruined. Now I probably would never find that same color Bo Jacksons in my size again for a decent price, you feel what I'm saying? So, you live and you learn, but I ain't gonna be fucking up no kids, man. I used to just be on some bullshit, but now I'm gonna stop doing that. And I seen some pictures of myself the other day, I had on some red and white, uh, I think they was Air Max 99s. I forgot what, I think they was 99s. Them shits was fire, I'm like, damn. I had the old green shits and I had the red and white shits, but the red and white shits, I'm like, damn, I fucked those up. Them shits is class. You'll never find them shits no more. You heard? Tight. I need those nine ones too. I think they nine ones. The joints, the joints with um, the joints that's black and purple, like that bluish purple black shit. I had them shits in, in Brownsville back in the days, like in '91. I had them shits. Them shits. Yo, I think they. Now nah, they not '90s. They '91s. I think. You understand what I'm saying? Black, white, and purple shits. Them shit's the most classic pair of Air Max that has ever came out. Real talk. Yeah, bro. Gen Pop Dot Store, bro. I'm about to get up off this shit because I've been on this shit for an hour and a half. You know what I mean? Niggas, I got 13 pair. Be thinking I'm a sneaker king. 
But you all like in the hood, nigga, you got 10 pair joints, you that nigga. You heard? You got 10 pair joints in the hood, you that nigga. You know what I mean? But I, after a while, like, you know, let me tell you, I had a bad experience, man. Like, I was trying to get phone. It's another thing, like, that hurt my heart. Like, I love phones, but I could never, I, could, I'm, I can't, I'm not standing outside. So, boom. Last time them niggas dropped some phones, right? I had my credit card. I had everything ready to go, bro. I'm like, I'm getting these motherfucking phones, my nigga, because I've been waiting for these shits for 100 years. I've been wanting these shits, right? So, boom. The shits dropped, my nigga. I'm up like this. I got the alarm on my phone, everything. I'm like, nigga, I ain't missing these shits. As soon as the shit dropped, boom, I put the shit through. Shit goes through. I had the wrong fucking expiration date in my card information, my nigga. I had the year wrong. That shit just sent me a message. Yo, it was a problem with your card. You know what I mean, we had to we had to reject the transaction. And now they're sold out. I was like this. Real talk, my nigga. That shit had me tight. Then I went to 14th Street the next day. I just see a white chick walk past with them shits. I was like this. Hate, I hate the game, my nigga. I hate it. You heard? I wanted them phones bad, my nigga. I wanted them shits bad. But my revenge, as I get my bread up, I'm gonna get every fucking pair of phones, my nigga. I don't give a fuck. Call me what you wanna call me. I'm getting them shits. I don't like every, I'm not gonna say every, I don't like every. Them black on black, some orange shits, the motherfucking army green shits, the motherfucking uh, Orlando Magic blue shits. Those is mandatory, my nigga. Those is mandatory, you heard? It's like these thirsty ass niggas. Like I said, I come from everywhere. where you walk into the fucking sneaker store and you buy the new pair of sneakers. With the internet now, niggas, thirsty ass niggas and other um, resellers want to buy every fucking pair of sneakers and resell them shits for an inflated price. That shit should be illegal, my nigga. Price, price gouging, that shit should be fucking illegal everywhere, nigga. That shit, they need to outlaw that shit because what happens is lame niggas get all of the fire sneakers now. It used to be the real niggas got all of the fire sneakers because niggas had that cash money on deck. You heard niggas ain't had to wait to nothing. Niggas had that cash money on deck, so niggas was like, now, all the nerds, you understand what I'm saying? Niggas from fucking wherever the fuck they from across, across seas, they copping up, they got bots, they copping up 50, 60 pair Jordans. So you see that chick that got knocked off with her son at Nike? That's foul, bruh. That's foul, bruh. That's foul, bruh. Bro that worked for Nike, black chick. A motherfucking son get knocked off buying crazy J's, my nigga, from the Nike company and reselling them. You heard? So it be inside jobs, nigga. Like, niggas working for Nike, buying out all of the Jordans, selling them shits for a profit. That's why niggas like us can't get them shits. We got to go get some shits off of StockX that may or may not be real. You heard? That may or may not be real because these bootleggers is phenomenal out here. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, fucked up, my nigga. Niggas fucked the game up. You understand what I'm saying? The game's fucked up. Nobody can't get no kicks now. So that's why I fell back from that shit. Like, yo, I'm good, bro. You can't even get no sneakers you want to get. Like, shit be gone. You got to get them just the day they come out or it's a wrap because of the resellers. You know what I mean? Thirsty ass resellers. It's disgusting. And it needs to be the, the, the feds or whatever the fuck needs to step in on that shit and say, yo, look, it gotta be a limit to how many sneakers a company could buy off of Nike. You understand what I'm saying? Like, y'all niggas can't be buying 800 pair of Jordans and then selling them shits, price gouging them shits for a whole $200 more in two weeks. Like, shit is disgusting, bro. It's unfair. You know what I mean? So, fuck niggas. Yeah, that bro from Nike, man, they got caught. I think it was twenty thousand. I think they, 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 I think they was getting like, like, like twenty thousand dollars in Jordans. They got caught buying or some crazy shit like that. Shit, nigga, I need that eighteen k top and bottom with the gap in the middle. You heard? I needs that, baby. Was thinking about putting black diamonds in this shit, so it still looked like I got a gap. You heard, but except for the gap, be black diamonds. 
I was thinking about doing it like that. But I don't want to destroy the earth like that. You heard? Yeah, man, that bot shit gotta stop too, my nigga. That shit's that shit's they they gotta they gotta dead them bots, my nigga. Bots buying four hundred pairs of sneakers. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. Real talk, my nigga. Like I said, birds and nerds end up with the sneakers. When real niggas in the streets, we can't even get our hands on them shits, my nigga. Shit is whack, my nigga. And, and I'm sure Nike and all these niggas is getting their shit made in China any motherfucking way on the low. Like all these brands, all these luxury brands, niggas getting shit made in China on the low. Just to my made in Italy. Yeah, all right. Need that shit if you want to. The niggas outsourcing to the cheapest motherfuckers, nigga. Real talk. <laughs> Yeah, man. I'm about to get off this shit, you know what I mean? But um, I appreciate y'all niggas. Like I said, go to genpop.store, buy your motherfucking merchandise, nigga. The fall will be here in two months. Get those hoodies. You heard? Get those Gen Pop, get those fat vegetarian t shirts. Pop up to a barbecue. And watch how many broads be all over you like this. Oh, you a vegetarian? Oh, you're a fat vegetarian? They gonna wanna feed you, nigga. They gonna be like, you got the rice, the beans, the potato salad. What else you need? Like, nah, I actually eat meat. It's just my man's show, but nah. But on some G shit though, that fat vegetarian, you pull up at a bar, you pull up at a vegetarian barbecue with that nigga. It's over. Everybody gonna wanna take a picture with you. Oh, he said he's a fat vegetarian. Trust me, my nigga. You know what I mean? Then that Gen Pop fan, when you gonna see me with all of that shit? I ain't playing no games. You see, I got the joint right now. And this shit right here, this one, this is this is this is the polyester one. I just gotta test one to see. Shout out to my bro, shout out to Jersey, shout out to Newark. You heard, shout out to the whole Jers. I mean, my nigga just bought this tool. This is just for me to see how it lands on certain materials. But this joint right here. You can't even feel this. You can't feel this. This is inside the material. But that Gen Pop fam, bam! That shit bubble bobble, baby. You heard? You throw this on an all green t shirt or all red t shirt, that shit popping. You feel me? So, um, I'm about to get on it, my nigga. Go to the motherfucking store, genpop.store, get you a mask. That Gen Pop mask is fire. I got to get a few of those, you heard? Know what I mean? But um, the hats is coming, the snappies is coming. I ain't gonna fuck with fitteds because that's gonna be too many returns and shit. He be like, yo, it don't fit. So the snappies, the snappies will be on deck or the Velcroies will be on deck like this. You heard? The Velcroies or the snappies will be on deck. That Todd Dodd Champion hoodie, I'm gonna get crazy with those Todd Dodd Champion. Them shits is a hundred cash. Cause I'ma get wild with it. And it's only gonna be for niggas who get brag, brag. You heard? So if you pop up with the champion Todd Dodd Gen Pop, why well, like I said, I don't want I got logo, I got I got shit on the way. And like I said, my 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 nigga, shout out to my nigga Camille, who designed my store. He done designed stores for Dosi Gabbana. You understand what I'm saying? And all type of record label niggas. That's my nigga from way, way back. We go back like motherfucking coconut long boys you heard my nigga camille that's who that's who designed the site i mean that's my nigga that's my business partner when it comes to this when it comes to the shit and he's saying i yo don't don't bombard them with too much with too much merchandise just yet put these designs out first i said all right i'm gonna let you do this because you've been doing this already i mean you gotta let the experts be the experts but I let my nigga put out the designs he feel is right right now and we sitting on, then I got all the old uh, HDM C74 joints. Bro, all of those shits going on the Todd Dye Champion hoodies and all of that, my nigga. Todd Dye Champion hoodie, C74 across the motherfucking joint. Now I mean, HDM across the joint. Todd Dye shit, thick, quality shit, champion logos all over that shit. You heard? It's gonna be ugly, my nigga. It's gonna be ugly, but, you know what I mean? That's what I'm, that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next two, three months. I'm just sitting here designing, thinking of designs and coming up. Like I got another design that's a mess hall tray. It's a bloody mess hall tray. It's just a mess hall tray with blood dripping down from it. It don't say nothing. I had the one that say Gen Pop, but I, I need certain shit to be subliminal. So boom, 
the shirts and the hoodies just gonna have a hoodie, like a, a fucking black hoodie, and the shit just gonna have the red mess hall tray with the blood dripping down, you heard? Like a nigga got smashed with the mess hall tray. That shit gonna be fire, my nigga. You heard? Then, like I said, if you a hand drawing dude, holla at me, cause I need some dudes that draw. I got a nigga, the official Gen Pop logo. Let me say this on here so nobody can ever bite it because I said it and y'all niggas heard it. 43 niggas heard it. The official Gen Pop logo is about to be the zip gun, my nigga. And if you don't know what a zip gun is, a zip gun is a gun that they make in jail out of whatever they can find to make it. And I got like four different zip gun, zip gun t-shirts that's coming out. So it's going to be a whole line. It's going to be introducing a new Gen Pop logo, which is going to be a jailmate zip gun. And then I'm going to have a line of the zip gun, zip gunners line where it's just going to be a different zip gun on each shirt. Zip gunners. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. It's going to be ugly, bro. But that's going to be the new logo. Whichever nigga designed it the best. Because so far, the dude who I got designing it, he did an eye job, but I wasn't feeling the zip gun was detailed enough. So I'm going to have to find a nigga that get dumb on the hand drawn because I need to see the rust the rust jail dirty rust on the zip gun like niggas I got a zip gun that's like a shotgun that niggas made in jail I found pictures I dug up pictures of old zip guns now I mean I'm gonna have niggas recreate them and redraw them and put them on t-shirts zip gun that's gonna be the zip gun a lot it might not say zip gun on it it just had a zip gun with a gem pop in it but that's gonna be the name of the line Zip gun and shirt, you feel what I'm saying? Shit gonna be dumb. Shit gonna be dumb, bro. I mean, so you already know. Now nah, that tray is coming. Haitian Queen, I got you. Then I got Haitian Queen. She gave she let it be known, like, yo, I need I need that shit for, for the shit. So when I drop, listen, when I drop my motherfucking wild team wives and my wife gang shit, it's over. Somebody holler at me, my nigga. Before it's too late, before I take two billion on y'all niggas. I mean, if you a clothing line, and you trying to get your shit popping, holla at me, nigga. We might be able to do some business together. Because real talk, I got ideas out the kazoo, nigga. Know what I mean? And, and, and I want to see, I want to test myself to see if I could evolve a, a, a fucking merch brand, a YouTube merch brand into a real fucking clothing line that people actually wear, bro. That, that's some ill shit to do. And if a motherfucker could do that, he a bad motherfucker, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know a nigga that had, a, I, I knew a nigga who I told you in that story, Camp Gabriel. I knew a nigga who had a gun in jail. He turned that shit in, he let that nigga go, too. Real talk. But nah. Let me show y'all niggas some designs, man. Like I said, Gen Pop Dot Store, we officially open, bro. We officially open, my bro. You heard? We officially open for business. Mm, that Prison Gang t-shirt is nutso. That Prison Gang t-shirt is nutso, my nigga. You heard? Gen Pop Prison Gang, my nigga. That shit dumb. The army green joint is dumb. It's dumb. I'm yeah, I'm gonna rock this with the green, with the green night tech suit. You heard? With the army green night tech suit. That's the next color I'm gonna get. I'm gonna rock it with this shirt right here. You heard? Shit gonna be ah. Then they got them olive green Yeezys. That's this color. Shh, don't have those on. Don't have that army green gem pop with the army green with the olive color motherfucking Yeezys on. Cause you will be you will be shitting on niggas. Like I said, these is these is only a few of the designs, bro. Because my nigga Camille, he is holding on to it. Pause. My God, you wear that shit right here to a to a vegetarian function. Let's say you just find out it's a it's some vegetarian shit going on somewhere in the fall. You heard? And you just pop up through the door with the fat vegetarian hoodie. Type of things I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get that hoodie 
and I'm gonna start going to straight vegetarian restaurants and eating with that shit on. And somebody's gonna come up and say, hey, I like that, sh- that hoodie, fat vegetarian. Like, yeah, that's my show on YouTube. Go check it out, you heard? I mean, if you got a restaurant, give me 20 racks, I'll make you famous. Yep. You see what else, my nigga, my nigga Miliato. That's what I'm gonna call my nigga. After he designed a site like this, that's what I'm gonna call that nigga, Miliato. Then you got the classic gen poppers. You got them classic gen poppers with that cell, nigga. With that keep lock logo. You heard we call those the keep lock logos. When you see that cell, that's that keep lock, nigga. Keep it locked. Then I got my bro doing the motherfucking the the the, the badges. The cloth badges. Oh. <coughs> hey. It's ugly. It's ugly. Shout out to my bro Vaughn P, man. I felt bad. He was going to a cookout and he wanted one of these joints, but the store wasn't up yet, man. Vaughn P, I gotta holla at you, bro. That's that black fat vegetarian shirt right there. You heard? That's the cookout killer, nigga. That's the cookout killer. You heard? You come to that cookout with that with that black fat vegetarian shirt on. It's a wrap, nigga. Every bro gonna approach you like this. You're a vegetarian? So you don't want some of these ribs? You be like, nah, I'm just supporting my man's show. He a vegetarian. Throw them ribs up on the plate, goddammit. You heard? And then you bag her. All because she thought you was a vegetarian, but you actually eat ribs just like her. So you got her, baby. That prison gang, that prison gang is different, my nigga. Prison gang t-shirt is different, my nigga. I'm going to keep it real with you be any gang. You understand what I'm saying? The Gen Pop gang or what any gang. As long as it's a prison gang. But yeah, so we only on there with a few with a few uh joints for now. But when I unleash the tigers, when I unleash the tigers, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. Then you know that's the Pottersfield zombie. You heard? You, y'all know about that Pottersfield zombie. Know what I mean? That's the Statue of Liberty zombie. You heard? Pottersfield NYC joints. You heard? That's ugly, my nigga. That's ugly. You heard? I paid like $200 for that one design, my nigga. I had this for a minute. But I'm about to start. I might put that shit bigger on these shirts, too. Take up the whole fucking shirt. I'm going to tell my nigga Camille, like, yo, I might want to take up the whole shirt with that shit, nigga. Straight up. I might want to take up the whole shirt. But for those who been rocking with me since the music was popping, and you a supporter of that music, nigga, them potters feel zombie tees, nigga. That's the zombie tee. We got the hoodie. You heard? All t-shirts is 30 cash, bro. Old t-shirts is 30 cash, hoodies is 50. The champion Todd dies is a hundred. And I'ma tell you this, they 110 actually. I'ma tell you this. I'm gonna step those up to the next level. I'm getting on the phone with my bro today. Because I love these champion Todd Dye hoodies. And mm, mm, mm. look, these is just the Gen Pop ones. But when I throw that Rikers Island over the chest of that. C74 HDM over the chest of that motherfucking black and gray tie dog. That's gonna own the fall, my nigga. Watch. Yeah, bro. I gotta hit my nigga Millie up. I gotta hit my nigga Millie up. ASAP. ASAP Rocky. I need them C74 motherfucking tie dog hoodies, nigga. And HDM and OBCC and all of that. Tie dog hoodies, bro. That's my word. I'm getting one of them shits ASAP. And then, you know, we got the Gen Pop Fan 3D bubble hoodies. These shits is hard. 
these shits is hard, nigga. That logo is fire. The nigga who designed that logo, I only fuck with the best of the best designers, man. If you ain't a five-star designer with 10,000 reviews on your work, I don't want nothing done from you, my nigga. I'm only fucking with them big name designers, my nigga. See, most niggas is just going to t-shirt designers. I don't go to t-shirt designers. I go to artists that hand draw shit and do typography as a live for a living. You understand what I'm saying? So this is just the very beginning, my nigga. It's the very beginning. I promise you. It's the very beginning. I gotta hit my nigga Millie up, make a few adjustments, get a couple of items, cause I need those C74 tie-dye champions on deck. I need those on deck. See, I'm gonna be doing things like this. I'm gonna be doing things like this, right? I'm gonna be doing ignorant things like this. Gen Pop fan bubble, bubble t-shirt. Red vapes, black night text, black hat, black snappy. Maybe with a black polo snappy with a red vest on it or something. You heard? With the red motherfucking bubble, with the red vapes. And it'll be acting real silly, nigga. Pop right up at that Dighton basketball game for 10 minutes. Know what I mean? Let niggas see me for 10 minutes and get, the, and get my sightings out there. And then I'm out. Out, baby. It's gonna make me start buying. See, yeah, see, I'm gonna be doing things like this. I'm gonna be doing things like this, you heard? I'm gonna be doing things like this. The greenies with that lime greenie. You can't really see it in the in the camera how it'll blend, but I love blending neon green with regular green. It's, it's a winner. If you ever want to win, if you ever want to win, blend, blend green with neon green, bro. And watch the impact it has in real life. So I coordinate the shit out of shit, right? But I ain't too matchy. I hate a nigga that's too matchy. Should be corny when a nigga be too matchy. Matchy love. But yeah, this orange, these orangies, these orangeinas. Listen, listen. These orangeinas, I call this shit the orangina. You heard? When I get that prison gang orangina and throw it on with these right here, with some good black sweats, with a good haircut, pop up at a good family reunion for a half hour. Bag about 30 bitches and keep it moving, I'm out. You heard? These are never pair of joints I never wore. Never wore these pips. Never wore these pippins. You know why I never wore these pippins? Because thirst balls buy them out in 24 hours and the whole city wears their shit and fucks this shit up. And then I just pop out with my shit like this. Oh, let me see. Let me see what I want. Let me see. Oh, yeah. He's got the orangina in it, too. See? Orangina. Ooh. Wee. Pop up at the barbecue. Pop up at the family BQ with this. The BBQ. The black text with some black Lacoste sweats. With some black Adidas sweats. Nah. I be mixing Adidas with Nike. I got to stop it. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a secret society of us guys. That we mix, we mix Adidas with Nike all the time. I'm, I'm guilty of it. I'm going to keep it real with you. But not me. Black text or something. Not me. Or nice. I'm not a short kind of guy. But for a nigga who rocks shorts, I understand how you would do that. You heard? But yeah, bro. I'm just letting y'all know how you do these, how you do the goddamn thing. So that when y'all do the goddamn thing, it looks right, baby. It looks right. Nigga Millie, man, we gotta get some. We, we, we gotta get some. We lacking some blue. Oh, oh, bugging out. We ain't lacking. We not lacking. Look. Look. 
Ooh-wee. That Gen Pop bubble bobble with those pluses. You heard? With those pluses. With the mm mm mm. Mm. Some nice, good gray sweats. Nice, good gray sweats. You heard? Psst. Doing it real right. Or if I, if it's a little bit of. See, I don't even like wearing these because, you know, these will just be extinct. These will be extinct soon. You heard? These blue and pink joints with that? These blue and pink joints? Where's some motherfucking. It's like a pink. It's like pink. Yeah, it's pink. Know what I mean? Pink low sweats. They got the pink double knitted low sweats. Them shits cost like a buck 20, I think, for a pair of them shits. Like the pink double double knitted low sweats. You throw the pink double knitted low sweats and double knitted low sweats is different. They different. They try to compete with tech, so they different. The double knitted low sweats, the pink shits, go on a polo site and put in double knitted, double knitted sweats pink, and you'll see the ones I'm talking about. Them shits is crazy. You throw the double knitted pink low sweats. I had these shits for a while. I just don't really wear them because when I do wear them, niggas be like, yo, where you get those from? Like, if they that exclusive, they got to stay in the house, nigga. But it's like, yo, that blue with the motherfucking pink and blue joints, be ugly, bro. It be ugly. But go look at those pink, those pink double knitted uh, polo sweats. Shits is ugly. Mad. The masks are on deck, bro. Gem Pop fan joints, you heard? Yeah, bro. So, like I said, motherfucking store is open. I'm trying to get rich. Help me get rich, nigga. Help me get rich. See, I'll be different with polo, man. Like, you know what I mean? Polo, you got to be careful with polo because polo, like, you know, they make shit that's like, like, I think, like, you got spots like Macy's and shit. Like, they got, they got their own, niggas be having their own line of polo. So, it's some real basic polo shit. So, you go on a site, they got the basic shit. Oh, that's just like basic polo. You heard? And then they got, you know, heritage shit and shit that's different. That I be fucked with like this shit right here, love it. See this shit? Regular Chicago Cubs, heritage shit. But then on the back, you smashing the earth. When you turn around, you smashing the earth, niggas. The whole lap. You heard? Whole lap. But now nah, they got the Yankee joint. They got the Yankee joint in red. That shit is. Hurtful, my nigga. It's hurtful. I gotta get that in. That shit sold out in my size. Then they got the jacket. This is just the hoodie. Hoodie is like one, like after taxes is pushing two hundred dollars, my nigga. It's like it's like one eighty something, right? But the jacket is five hundred, my nigga. And then the other day I was tight, nigga, cause I ain't even have it. And they had a sale on that shit, nigga. They had a sale, they had a 20% off sale. You know, they had a code, a 20% off code, and I, I put that shit in to see if it worked for this shit, for the jacket. Shit dropped the jacket down a whole hundred, $150 or something crazy like that. I was like, damn, nigga. Still was three and change, but it's like, that five, that five is strong, baby. Starter jacket, like a regular starter jacket. But that shit is five, just like that. Say Ralph Lauren on the back. Shit is nuts. At the end of the day, you got one of them shits, you gonna slaughter. You gonna slaughter niggas with that, my nigga. Know what I mean, I like slaughters. I like to slaughter shit. You heard? You know what I mean? So, but that ain't nothing. That ain't no polo compared to some of the niggas I know that got vintage shit from 20 years ago. It cost $3,000 for a sweater type status. Like, this is still like light shit because polo got shit that's 900000 for a sweater, 1500 for a sweater. You know, this is street polo shit. That real crazy Beverly Hills, people that live in Beverly Hills that buy the shit, they got some different shit, trust me. 
Yeah, them rugby's, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm mad about pieces I had from back in the days that I lost, man. Like stadium shit and like, I mean, just mad shit that I lost, bro. Barcelona shit, you feel me? Like, pfft, mad shit, my nigga. I mean, you don't think low pants that you don't think them shit's ever going to come back in style. Like, remember the old baggy crazy polo pants? You know what I mean? Like, not, they wasn't like khakis, but niggas used to use them shit to boost. But the, the baggy shit, I used to have a long brim polo hat. I used to have a long brim polo hats that come out to here. You know what I mean? It's just say polo with the long ass brim. Them shit was like a buck fifty for just for the hat. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I done had some things, my nigga. I done had some things, but I gotta step my game back up. Yeah, that Indian head shit was ridiculous. That shit was ridiculous. And that's how I'm gonna do my Gem Pop logo. Like the polo cookie. I'm gonna have a polo cookie. Size like that. Gem Pop shit. Classic shit, bro. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. But yeah, Polo, y'all gotta step it up, my nigga, because, you know, y'all be making shit that's like, uh. Certain shit, and y'all gotta step it up, bro. I step that shit back up. Yeah, that Indian head, that shit go for more than 500. That shit go for more than 500, my nigga. That shit is extinct. I don't even think they make that Indian head shit no more at all. And the same thing with Teddy Bear, like, I don't, I'm like, listen, I grew up when Teddy Bear was so exclusive, my nigga, if you had a Teddy Bear on, on something, that shit was 500, 600, 700. If you had a sweater with a Teddy Bear, now, you know, they put the Teddy Bear on a lot of shit. You feel me? Like, they, they, they kind of like um, watered down the Teddy Bear a little bit. You feel me? Like, you still got the Teddy Bear that cost six, seven. That's the one that's dressed up. The Teddy Bear is dressed up like in a suit. That shit is the shit that should be like six, seven hundred dollars for that teddy bear. And then you got like polo sports teddy bears and they just putting teddy bears on everything. Them shits is cool too. But when you grew up in the era where that teddy bear was seven, eight hundred alone, you know what I mean? I can't get with the other teddy bears so much. You feel what I'm saying? But the, the eight hundred, nine hundred dollar teddy bears, them shits was different. Just like the suicide polo, you always hear me saying Z Man, suicide polo, the ski man. And niggas don't be putting out enough ski man shit. And then when y'all do put out ski man shit, word to everything I love, every fucking low life in the country, or polo gang, or polo fanatic in the country, that shit be gone in 24 hours, nigga. Anything with that suicide polo ski man on it, my nigga, is gone. You heard? I played myself one time. I went to Macy's and they had the ski man t-shirts. And it wasn't cold, it wasn't warm yet. Even they had the ski man t-shirts, it was ski man t-shirts, but it was it wasn't it wasn't warm yet. I was like, I don't want no t-shirt. I should have bought five of them shits, nigga. Cause you'll never find them shits again for another two years when they decide to put out some more ski man shit. Like, niggas is foul with that shit, my nigga. I need the ski man cold. Oh, I see that, I'm just jumping out the window. I'll spend my last and all of that. If I see the ski man jacket when you close it up and it got the ski man on the back, skiing, I'm getting that, bro. And that's gonna be like a rack. Cause if you go on the polo app, if you go on the polo app and you click, uh, you don't click like in stock to see what's in stock. You click, um, I forgot what they call it, stories. That's where the real polo shit is, is sold, bro. Shit that I cannot afford. You understand what I'm saying? Shit that shits on any and everything. I don't care what brand it is. It ain't fucking with that high level low, bro. You go into them stories, nigga, and you go into the golf stories and the motherfucking tennis stories on their site, they got shit that's different. You heard? They got polo sweatsuits. They got polo jackets that cost $3,000. $3,000 is for a little flimsy jacket. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's next level low shit. That next level shit. They got hunting shit. Now I mean? They got the hunting stories. Like you got the fucking low vest. With the low vest with all the pouches and all of that shit should be 900 just for the vest like you heard like so a lot of niggas they see that polo that being like just macy's and shit and they think oh that's his polo is not nah bro it's a different polo i don't even know if the polo mansion is still open but when we was kids we used to go to the polo mansion you heard and the polo mansion just had different everything nigga you black you walked up in there they was like this what you need what you want they know you was coming in to steal nigga when we was there, we, I used to just go in there to just all that shit, like, 
oh shit, look at that rugby. Oh shit, remember that rugby that came out with the motherfucking, um, with the horse on it? With the man riding a real horse? Like, it was a real horse. Picture of a nigga riding a real horse. Then they had the drawn one. Rugby with the big ass horse on the back. You know, that shit was fucking, that shit was, matter of fact, it wasn't a rugby. It was a knitted. That's when they used to call, they used to have this shit called polo knitted. And them shits was 800, 900, 1,000 dollars, even back in the 80s. You heard? They had the joint with the big ass horse on it, the safe polo. Then they got the joint with the real man riding the real horse. Crazy shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Them shits was eight, nine hundred dollars. Back in the days, we used to run down the Burlington Coat Factory. And they would have shit like a knitted that's 900, they'll have it for 400. And that's how niggas in the hood niggas used to come up on exclusive low shit. Century 21 and Burlington Coat Factory. Nowadays, you know, Century 21, they went out of business, but they supposed to be coming back in business. But nowadays, Burlington Coat Factory, Century 21, uh, uh, Woodbury Common, and all the places, they whack now. But in the 80s, them shits was the fucking shit, nigga. I used to go in Burlington Coat Factory, my nigga. And I ain't have no money, or I have money for one shirt, right? I'll buy one low shirt, right? And I'll see three other shirts, nigga, that I want bad, nigga, that I ain't got the money for, my nigga. Or be like, polo shit, or fucking uh, Tommy. This is when niggas was heavily into Tommy Hilfiger, Jabot, Low. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I, w I had every pair of Jabots ever made. I'm talking about, this was 91, 90. You know what I'm saying? I had every color, 92, up to 92. I had every color pair of Jabos that was ever manufactured. You understand what I'm saying? I had, I was the Jabot king. You heard? I had every fucking color. Red, green, regular jean, black, white, any color you could think of. Stripe, the stripe shits, the two-tone shits. I had them. You understand what I'm saying? I had figure shirts. That's when it was Jabot's hanging baggy hill figure on the top now. Back on my back, that's just my flavor. I, that's when Brand Nubian was popping and Grand Pooba was that nigga. You heard? So nigga, everybody was trying to dress like Grand Pooba. And his low game was up crazy too. You heard? So, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, we used to be going to the motherfucking low mansion. Burlington and Coat Factory, nigga. I used to be going in there and hiding shit, nigga. Like, I go in there, I'm like, damn, I ain't got the money for this low shirt. I'll fold that shit up, nigga, and go hide shit in a trash ass section that nobody buys nothing from i go hide that shit up in there stick that shit up in there stuff it under there and i come back next week and buy that shit nigga go right in there go. they look at me i walk in the store like where the fuck this little nigga going i'll be walking right to the back come out with some exclusive low shit that if you if i would have kept on that shelf nigga that shit would have been gone because high school students we was sharks nigga we were sharks in Burlington Co Factory in, 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 in Century 21, nigga. Like, we knew the days that they get the shipment. Like, niggas be like, yo, Thursday the new shipment coming, niggas be cutting school, nigga. Like this, or taking off the last period of school and just get there before anybody. Nigga be like this, break through the door, yo, getting, getting this, getting this, getting that. You know what I mean? Then they used to have certain shit that was slightly irregular. They say it on the tags, slightly irregular. And that shit might be just like one little thread is hanging out. Or one little stitch is up, upside down when it's supposed to be shit nobody would notice. Shit be half price. Give me that. You heard? Give me that. Now I mean, nigga, just be having that shit, nigga. That's how I started getting my low up. I first bought um, I had the um, I had the neon orange um, um, Tommy Hilfiger boat coat, all neon orange revert. Matter of fact, it was low. Matter of fact, I'm bugging out. It was low. It was low. It was an all orange polo, um, raincoat, neon orange shit. That was the first one flip out to that shit. And I had that Tommy Hilfiger boat coat with the reflector. It's like a boat coat. Remember when boat coats was in style? I had the Tommy Hilfiger shit with the reflectors going across the chest. At nighttime, you walking down the street, your whole chest be lit up. You heard? That's when I, my, my mom's moved to Dykeman. I came up there with that shit. I came uptown with that shit. Nigga tried to buy it off me. Nigga did buy it off me. Nigga was like, yo, I'll give you anything for that shit, my nigga. How much you want for that shit? I saw that shit like twice what I paid for it. Went and bought some other new shit. <coughs> Real talk. <clears throat> yeah, but see, Jabot, see, Parasuko and Nietzsche 
shit like that. Those was hood brands trying to come up. Jabot was a real French designer brand. You understand what I'm saying? And at one time, that shit was had Macy's under siege. Like a pair of Jabots was like fifty to seventy dollars, and now at that time that was that was expensive. Fifty seventy dollar pair of jeans. You feel what I'm saying? So I had every fucking color, my nigga. Real talk. And that's when shit was dumb baggy. I had like four different jam sports, low on um, book bags. I had fucking low jackets, clients with I had Calvin Klein's when Calvin Klein um acid wash, Calvin Klein jean suits was popping. You know what I'm saying? I had suspenders. Now I see suspenders is coming back. When niggas are wearing their suspenders down like that, we used to wear that shit back in the 80s, my nigga. When AJ's was out and shit like that, niggas had suspenders. Niggas had the guest jumpers. Now I mean that's when niggas used to rock guest jumpers. Like the pharmaceuticals with the suspenders. I had the red, had the all red acid wash guest jumper, flip them suspenders down, boom. You understand what I'm saying? I had that shit. Now, I mean I had several guest guest um jean suits. I had to go. I got locked up when I came through the four building and niggas ran down on me with ratchets and robbed me. I had on a motherfucking um I had on a motherfucking gold. I had on a gold Calvin Klein jean jacket, nigga. Niggas ain't see niggas as fresh as me the way I came through, nigga. And I got all my shit back. Niggas took my shit, robbed me. After I was in the house for a while and I started coming out my shell, I took all my shit back. Whatever was around the house, I took all my shit back. Nigga. And then I gave all my shit away when I went home. You heard? But I came through, I had the black and white Reebok pumps with the orange basketball on it. You feel what I'm saying? That's the original shit, black, white, and orange shits. I had them shits. I had on the gold Calvin Klein um, button up. I own um, jean jacket. I had on some motherfucking um what I had on? I think I had on some black Calvin Klein jeans and I had a LA Kings Pro Model hockey jersey. Like niggas don't remember the pro models. That's back in the days where they, like what was a throwback? They back in like the early 90s, they used to have pro model sweaters, like football team, baseball teams, hockey teams. Them shits was six, seven hundred, five hundred, six hundred for a pro model um sweater. I came through with the LA Kings pro model with the motherfucking, my shit was fly as a kite, man. Niggas was mad. I understand why niggas pulled out so many guns. I was too fly. You hurt? You know what I mean? But yeah, you know what I mean? I was doing it, my nigga. But when I was young, I was on it. But now, I'm in my second childhood, nigga. Fuck that. I'm getting fly again like, I was, like I'm 16 again, nigga. You heard? When I was 16 and 17, that's all I gave a fuck about was getting fly, nigga. Straight up. Sometimes you got to tap back into them old elements that made you who you are. You feel what I'm saying? Got to tap back into them old elements, my nigga. But I used to be heavily on it. This shit ain't nothing new to me, nigga. Let that be known. I used to be heavily on it, nigga. Me and my son Pressure, we used to be in that nigga crib with a pile of polo clothes, nigga. Off the floor like this. On his bed, rather. A pile of polo clothes. Rolling dice for them shits, nigga. I had I bring my low through, he got his low. We be rolling CeeLo in that nigga bedroom, nigga. Betting polo gear, nigga. I crack that nigga ass, I leave with two crazy joints. He crack my ass, get them shits right back. You know, niggas be like, yo, see, niggas be wearing each other's shit. Nah, nigga, we be winning each other's shit. You heard? Real talk. Well, my nigga pressure was dumb fly. Niggas was hating on my son because my son was polo down, head to toe. Fly as fuck each and every day. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk, but son used to be rolling dice. Now I mean son used to be tossing me shit too. I'ma keep it real with you. Son used to be tossing me shit too. Yo, son, here, boom. Hold this, here, son. Here, we boosted, we caught this. Hold this, boom. I'd like, good looking, son. Be having that shit on the school the next day like this. What up? If I ain't have a new low hoodie or something, I'm not even coming to school, bro. Real talk. It was on, bro. It was on Lions and Men. What's popping? We got a celebrity YouTuber in the building. My nigga Lions and Men. Y'all niggas go subscribe to that channel and show support. That's my motherfucking son. We was in Hudson together, you heard? A lot of niggas don't know that. You know what I mean? My nigga Chulo, we was in Hudson together. I'm going to tell that story about you coming up in the stories of Happy Hudson, my nigga. I'm going to stop cuffing it. But I wrote the list down the other day. It's like, it's like literally like eight parts Already, and I ain't even write down everything yet. I got like eight parts of Happy Hudson, my nigga from. Listen, from my nigga Chulo, that's Lions and Men. When I tried to get that nigga to, to stash a, a banger that was this long for me, and he wasn't trying to hear it, I got that story. I got motherfucking the story of, of 
haunted D Cottage. We had ghosts in D Cottage for a fact. And I got witnesses that's gonna come on the show and, and, and verify it. I got the story of my nigga Suge that be on the channel when some nigga said some slick shit to my nigga Suge in the movie theater. And we formed on a nigga like Voltron. I got a story like, I got a story about that. Let me see. I got the story when the fucking whole weight shack fell on my hand and split my finger open. And it was, I was in the most pain I ever felt in my life. I'm gonna tell that story too. Let me see, what else? I got this shit written down on my phone with all of the parts, but I can't think of the shits now. But, oh, I got this story about the Wayans brothers, my nigga, that's, we'll, we'll get to that. Then I got a story about this gay nigga named Van, this gay nigga named Van that was in front of me, that this nigga used to be getting mad weed, my nigga. Mad weed, you heard? And that nigga used to be hitting me with the mother load, you heard? And I used to be, I really, he didn't even need my weed. Cause this nigga, I'ma get into that story. I knew that nigga in another gym. This nigga was one of the illest inmates I ever knew in my life. Gay nigga named Van. I'ma tell you a story about this nigga. You know what I mean? This nigga had sergeants and captains under fucking pressure. I, nigga, I was in Franklin with this nigga. I was in a school building one day. Nigga, I'm talking about captains and sergeants that will beat you and kill you, nigga. That nigga was coming in the school building like, Hey, Bob. How you doing, Tom? How's the kids? These niggas like this. How you doing, Mr. Van? I'm like, oh shit. This nigga calling the sergeant and the captain by the first name. That's how under pressure he had them niggas with his pen game, my nigga. Because this nigga was a highly intellectual gay nigga that ran a fucking multi million dollar business, but he was locked up for some other shit. Bro, them niggas tried to do some shit to that nigga one time. That nigga put his sick, his million dollar lawyers on them niggas' asses. Son, that nigga was calling the captain, the sergeant by their first name. What's up, Bill? How you doing? Got a problem? He was like, hey, how you doing? How you doing, sir? Hey, man, how's everything? I said, Yo, niggas that's killing niggas in this jail for even looking at them wrong. That nigga had them niggas under pressure, nigga. That's when I learned the pen is mightier than the sword, my nigga. This nigga right here? That nigga get on the phone, yo. Lawyers, he had lawyers on retainer. Yo, these niggas are harassing me because I'm gay. You understand what I'm saying? Ba 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 ba. And I got money because niggas hated son because son, son was getting twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollar checks in the mail. My nigga receipts like he had his people sending the receipts for his records that he received for his business, and he'd be walking around the jail showing niggas that shit. Like, look, for my company, forty thousand, thirty thousand, twenty thousand niggas, niggas showing that proof. You feel me? Son was rich. So he used to have niggas, he used to have the jail under pressure. Them police, they knew not to fuck with that nigga. You heard? Because his money was long, long. And that nigga get mad weed. And niggas started pressuring me like my nigga Wop from D-Block. Like, yo, son, man, you know that nigga from last jail, son? Press that nigga for some weed. So I'm like, son, real talk, my nigga. I don't, I don't, I don't want a motherfucking, I don't want to ask that nigga for that. I'm like, son, come on, son. Fuck, we need to. Start pressing and press that nigga. Yo, Van, let me holler at you, nigga. Yo, listen, I get it. When I get it, I hit you off. When you get it, pause. You hit me off. And it was like, yo, don't worry about that, man. I know you from, don't worry about that. Nigga just started sending over the mother load. Lee! He was like this. It was on, my nigga. But now, nah, Van was a good nigga, though, man. Son was a good nigga. I see my nigga Rico Rams in the building. My nigga. My nigga Rico Rams is in the building. We miss you, Ramo. You almost had a replacement today with that nigga Wild Buns Bullets. But you know Rico Rams, you the true mascot, mascot of the Gen Pop fam, my nigga. You know how we ram your mother. <laughs> For those who don't know my nigga Rico Rams, this is a nigga who moms the whole Gen Pop rams out every live. Every live episode, after it's over, we, Rico, Rams, Rico Rams moms... Now I mean, she goes to see everybody that's in the in the group chatting right now. She comes to your crib and you ram her. So you know what I mean? Ram Squad is always in the building. You heard? <laughs> ram Squad is in the building, nigga. My nigga Rams, we miss you, my nigga. How's your mom's cunt? Let me stop. Let me stop getting crazy. Niggas be ramming your mom's cunt, Rico Rams. Let me stop. I'm just fucking with my son. That's my son, though. So, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Lions and men. I know I'm this I know son is not the nigga that you said 
His son, the nigga that you said is your brother's son, not Rico Rams, right? The other nigga was your brother. Don't tell me Rico Rams was your brother, my nigga, because that'll be fucked up. You know what I mean, is it Rico Rams or the other nigga? I think you said the other nigga with Rico Rams. I know you're not. I know you're not um, brothers with my. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was gonna say I know you're not brothers with my nigga Lions and Men, cause then I'd have had to lay off you. But being that you're not his brother, let me say, we ram your moms, bro. You heard? Rico, we ram your moms, my nigga. And that's how that's how you got that name. And, and actually, it's a dude. It's one of my mans in Gen Pop that his new screen name is Rico Ram's Moms. And he's missing in action. Where's my nigga Rico Ram's mom's at, man? I got your mom's coming up in here, my nigga. Your mom's is part of the Ram. Your mom's is part of the Ram squad, son. Now, nah, but now, nah, shout out to my nigga Rico Ram's. That's the Gen Pop mascot. You feel me? Anytime he's in the building, feel free to ram his mom's. You heard? Because that's why his name is Rico Ram's, because we rams his mom's. You heard? So... When he's in the building, it's Ram time. Ram squad on deck. I'm getting them t-shirts. I'm going to get them t-shirts, son. Ram squad. You heard? And it's going to have a picture of like a, a lady's face with, with, with the Ram head. You know what I mean? Rico Ram's moms. I'm going to get them t-shirts soon and put them in the Gen Pop store. Y'all niggas go to Rico Ram's. Go to genpop.store and get you a Ram squad certified. Gen Pop shirt, my nigga. You heard? No doubt. My nigga Van. My nigga Van was gay. He would have definitely. He wouldn't have rammed your moms. Because he was gay. But he would have rammed your ass, though. Bet that. He was a big ass motherfucker, too. Big 6'5 nigga. Fat niggas. Fat, sweet nigga. That nigga would have had you. You know what that nigga Van used to do? He had so much guap that whoever was in the house with him, like little niggas, like he'll find 16, 17 year old little niggas and he'll put them niggas on a payroll to clean his cube up. Like them niggas are sweep and mop his cube, make up his bed and all of that. And all of that shit was a ploy to have young niggas around him because he just had young niggas around him like a bunch of, like a pimp have a bunch of bitches around him and nigga Van have a bunch of little niggas around him. He'd be giving them niggas weed, cigarettes, who knows? Blowing a cock, who knows? You understand what I'm saying? But um, it was this one kid that was in Franklin that he had on the payroll, and, and he was guard body. And niggas was like, "Yo, bro, you gotta get the fuck out that house with that nigga, or niggas is gonna do something to you." He like, "Yo, that nigga don't be doing nothing. He just be paying me to clean his cube. It ain't looking right, my nigga. You in the cube with that nigga? And he pay. He got you on a payroll, forty dollars a week. You know how much forty dollars a week in jail is, nigga? He had that nigga on a payroll, forty dollars a week in commissary, nigga." You heard he was paying this little nigga to sweep and mop and shit. So we started making fun of the little nigga. We like, son, that nigga running up in your buns. Keep it real, son. Or are you running up in that nigga buns for that 40? That 40 is chunky, my nigga. Keep it 100, son. Like, yo, son, stop playing in the game. That means just business. Like, all right, nigga. It's business, all right. Know what I mean, you sweeping and mopping that cube. That nigga in there in his drawers. Big fat nigga, like 350, looking like a big whale. Nigga got on a pair of Superman briefs laying up in the cube while you sweeping and mopping. That's the catch, nigga. You clean his cube, but you got to clean that shit while that nigga in there with them Supermans on. You heard? Nigga like this, sweeping and mopping. That nigga laying in the bed looking like Jabba the Hutt. You heard? With some Supermans on. But nah, that's my son. You know what I mean? That nigga Van, nigga Van was my son. I'm going to keep it real, man. That nigga was a That nigga. Yo, let me tell you. I'm going to tell the story. This nigga had an outside clearance connect. With a with a neutralizer air freshener, bro. The nigga, <laughs> these air fresheners, my nigga, these shits were so powerful. They wasn't no air fresheners. They was neutralizers. I don't care if the whole house smell like weed. You spray one spray of this shit, it was an industrial neutralizer, like from hotels. Hotels. Hotels that they use when they clean out my nigga. This nigga, I don't know how he got his hands on these shits. He was selling them in the um twenty dollars. You heard? Cause everybody, yo, yo, bro, these shits was the most powerful air neutralizer I had ever experienced. Nigga, I got one of them shits from that nigga. 
I ain't paying shit. I pressed that nigga, yo, van, yo, let me get one of the neutralizers, my nigga. And then he sent the neutralizer over with this the other gay nigga who this nigga's a thug. Like I got sound to blow the story up. But niggas who was in Hudson remember this one gay nigga that was in C Cottage with the nigga Van. He was like the nigga Van security. This nigga was brolic, my nigga. He knocked niggas out. Like he got a reputation. He done knocked a few niggas out in Hudson. You understand what I'm saying? Gay nigga, but he get busy, bro. He will fuck you up. The nigga be working out and all of that. He brolic, but he's a gay nigga. That nigga sent that nigga over with the air fresh. That nigga was like, he, he was mad that he had to give me the air freshener because I wasn't paying for it. And he felt like I was pressuring niggas for it. But it wasn't like that. You feel me? But he felt like I was extorting the nigga van out of weed and the air fresheners. But it wasn't. It was it was, we, it was respect. You feel what I'm saying? But he felt the nigga who was van man, he felt that we was extorting van. So the nigga came and gave me the motherfucking drink. He was like, I'm like, damn nigga. Like, know what I mean? You a hater. I mean, you mad because we ain't paying for nothing. Like, nigga, we thugs in here. Nigga, we don't pay for nothing. You heard? Once we got that neutralizer, nigga. Nigga, I was in my room smoking New York blunts like this. Niggas be like, yo, police coming up. I'll be like this. Police come. Counts clear. Nigga can't smell nothing, nigga. Nothing. We just finished blowing. The whole room was filled with smoke. Hit one hit one hit of that neutralizer. Shit was gone, nigga. Real talk. So that was mandatory. Wasn't no waste in that shit. None of that shit was mandatory, nigga. Anywhere we smoke, we hit the neutralizer. That shit killed everything. I never seen a neutralizer like that in my life again, my nigga. That shit was some shit that's not sold in stores. It was some shit that's made for her, for certain hotels, and they was stealing them shits. Out on the outside clearance crew and bringing them shits back into the jail. You feel what I'm saying? So once niggas got them neutralizers, it was over, over, my nigga. It was over. We was smoking in the TV room, smoking wherever the fuck we wanted to smoke, nigga. It'd be a wrap, you know what I mean? But yeah, my nigga, that's a story coming called Van and the Neutralizers. You heard? Van and the Neutralizers. You know what I mean? Because that nigga Van was an ill nigga, nigga had that guap, bro. Nigga had that guap. That nigga was getting them young boys. He had them young boys like strippers. <laughs> he had them niggas like strippers in the crib. We used to be making fun of niggas like, son, keep it real, son. That nigga be asking you to walk around in your boxes, son, keep it real. Like, son, stop playing, son. Like, son, just keep it real, son. That 40 is chunky, bro. That 40 a week is chunky, my nigga. What you doing for that 40? I ain't gonna say son name because he wasn't doing nothing to the little nigga, but we used to just be, we used to be, oh, cause son was broke, he ain't had no money, but we used to be wrecking on that nigga like son. That 40 strong, son. This jail, son. That's New York money. What you doing for that 40, son? And they like, yo, man, niggas, man, niggas play too much, man. Son, they got you walking around in the boxes. You in the boxes like this at, at nighttime, you dancing, my nigga up in that. <laughs> <laughs> the niggas had rooms in Hudson, so they was in a four man room. I was like, I we used to be like, nigga, when that four man room. Now, matter of fact, now the nigga who we used to make fun of, that was in Franklin, so he was in the double cube with the nigga. We used to be like, nigga, you in that double cube, nigga? Nighttime, nigga. That nigga Van be having the motherfucking nigga Van be having them Supermans on. Those, those Fruit of the Loom briefs. Nigga be like, I can't say the nigga name. Nigga be like this. Um, can you go get me? Because they have, they, in Franklin, they have fri refrigerators. Like, I think it was, was it Franklin that had refrigerators? Yeah, they had refrigerators where, like, you put your net bag in the refrigerator and shit, and you, you put them in. Nobody's supposed to go in each other's net bags. So, you know, there's one big refrigerator, you put your shit in the net bag, it should stay cold or whatever. And nigga Van be sending that nigga to the fridge. Was it Franklin that had the refrigerators, man? Oh, green. Yeah, them shit. I think it's Franklin that had refrigerators, though. With the net bags, you know what I mean? That shit. Niggas, be, niggas had all type of jokes with that nigga. Like, son, you be washing that nigga, son, in the shower, son? You be washing that nigga back, son? Keep it real, son. That nigga told me, he said, I promise you, this is all facts. 
This is all facts. The nigga was like, when I pressed the nigga for the weed, because we, we needed that weed, bro. Nigga running around with too much weed. I, I was starting to feel a certain kind of way. So the nigga was like, he said, Lotus, he said, I used to see you in Franklin. I was the youngest nigga in Franklin. Nigga was like, I used to see you in Franklin, and I used to want to say something to you, but I knew you would have cut me. That's exactly what that nigga said. He was like, I used to want to say something to you in Franklin, but I knew you would have cut me. Mm -mm. I said, Van, you was a smart man, my nigga, and I'm glad you never said nothing to me, bro, because it was a, I was already young and paranoid about the buns in Franklin, so if you would have said something to me, I might have been forced to do something to your ass, nigga. He's like, yeah, I never said no, I never, I never said nothing, but you know, I used to see you and stuff. I'm like, yeah, nigga, stick with name I can't mention that you had paying forty cash, nigga paying that nigga forty cash. So my only do is sweep and mop that nigga cube. All right, nigga, that's a lot of money to sweep and mop a nigga cube, nigga. Getting that bunky eating, you heard? Nigga was getting that bunky eating on the low. I told you what I used to do in Franklin, my nigga, like, niggas used to be creeping, like, we'd be in the dorm, be 50 niggas in the dorm, right? Or 60 niggas in the dorm. So in certain dorms, I'm going to keep it real with you, like, 45 niggas was engaging in homosexual activity. I'm just keeping it real, bro. I want to say a higher number than that, but I can't say a higher, I'm not going to say a higher number. But let's say 45 out of 60 niggas, right? So I told y'all niggas, what I used to do is at nighttime, I'm telling you, bro, like, I couldn't believe it. Different jails is different. Franklin, in this particular year, it was out of control with the homosexual activity. I'm going to keep it real with you. You understand what I'm saying? So, what I used to do is, I don't know if I told this in the story before. I hope I did because this is a, a, a pure element. Element. So, at nighttime, right, they turn off all the lights in the dorms. As I say, it's like one gay dude in the dorm, like an open transsexual um, gay dude with titties and shit like that. That He's with the, he's with, he's with the shits. So niggas is trying to lay dick to that nigga, right? So at night, they turn lights up like one, two in the morning. People think everybody's asleep. You can hear niggas creeping out their bed and creeping on the floor to try to get to the, to the gay niggas cube, right? So remember that, that cart on um, that toy from back in the days, creepy crawlers? Like it'd be like, oh, like some glow in the dark, glow in the dark fucking insects and shit. And the commercial used to be like, creepy crawlers. I don't know if I said this in the story before because I forget what I spoke about. But I used to wait till niggas crawl 2, 3 in the morning. Niggas be crawling. They think everybody sleep. I be up reading my lessons and shit. You heard? So a nigga be creeping, trying to be quiet. And the whole dorm be quiet. But niggas be up. But you can hear niggas creeping. I used to just say that shit dumb loud. My nigga, I'd be like, creepy crawlers. You just hear niggas running back to their cubes like, Whole dorm be laughing. Oh, the niggas that is up, niggas be laughing. Oh. And then I'll be like, on the next night, instead of seeing creepy crawlers, niggas be crawling like soldiers. I'll be like, G.I. Joe, American hero. G.I. Joe. Like, y'all niggas be G.I. Joe for them buns in this motherfucking dorm, nigga. Niggas be crying, son. Real talk. Like, I done seen a nigga run up in a and I done seen a nigga run up in some buns the night before he was going home. That's on God, nigga. Nigga was going home the next day. State green down, packed up, everything gone. The joint that he was fucking with slept right next to him. Nigga was banging that shit out that night, nigga. And went home the next day. I'm like, nigga's different. These niggas in here is different. You heard, but. Them creepy crawlers, my nigga, I was notorious. I used to be like this. As soon as my ears be like this, I hear a nigga creeping, I'll be like, it's three in the morning, it's a lot of, a lot of shuffling going on. I'll be like, creepy crawlers. Niggas be scattering, my nigga, like roaches. You heard? But nah, it was real. That was a dope pen. I was 17 at the time. It was a dope, that was an adult penitentiary, my nigga. And the reality is an adult penitentiary is if a motherfucking nigga come through that's looking like a woman with titties and a fat ass and all of that, a lot of niggas is going to try to fuck that shit, nigga. You understand what I'm saying? And that's just, that's just the bottom line, bro. Know what I mean? Me personally, I was never one of those niggas and never will be. But a lot of niggas was running up in some buns. Was running up in buns and they was killers. 
Niggas that'll stab you and cut you up and all of that. You call them gay. You heard? I know niggas that they was you call them niggas gay. Oh, you gay, nigga. Niggas stabbing you. You better go get your gun. If you're gonna call that nigga gay, you better go get your gun, bruh. Cause that nigga gonna stab you up. Oh, I'm gay? Alright, I'm gonna show you how gay I am right now. Nigga just come through. Bing, 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 bing. Stab your ass up. You heard? So I told you one time it was this gay nigga in my dorm, right? So niggas, I don't know if I told this story before, because I don't remember nothing. My memory is gone. So it's this gay nigga in my dorm, right? This nigga come through. This nigga's state known. Like, this nigga look just like a bitch. I'ma keep it a hundred with you. This nigga look just like a bitch, right? So I'm in my queue. It's two of these niggas. One of the niggas look just like a bitch. One of the niggas is an old ass nigga with some giant ass titties. This is the type of shit that goes on in the state pen. Be niggas in there with straight women bodies, bro. You understand what I'm saying? Cause they be giving them niggas the pills and they be taking hormone pills, growing titties, all type of shit, right? Soften they face up so they face don't look so hard. All of that, all of that goes down. So I'm new in the dorm and I'm 17 years old, good old 17, right? So where my bed is at, the bathroom, you don't have to walk past my cube to go to the bathroom. You could go around and go to the bathroom, right? So I wake up one morning Gay nigga walks past my cube, right? Nigga got on some, it's like I said, it was two of them and they slept right next to each other. Gay nigga walks past my cube, right? The nigga, the nigga had on some like shit, like where you could see half of the nigga titty or some shit walks past. So I was like this, this nigga's trying me. I'ma hold my motherfucking head. You know what I'm saying? So then the next nigga walks past my cube the next morning. Nigga got on some fucking shorts that they shouldn't even allow niggas to be wearing in jail. You understand what I'm saying? Nigga walks past, I'm like, I'm half sleep, nigga. I wake up, I just see a woman's body walking past. I'm like, what the fuck is a nigga, right? So I'm like, Shh. so that was strike two. So then strike three, the nigga walked past my shit. Now I see this nigga's going to the bathroom. You could walk this way and go to the bathroom. Why the fuck is you walking past my shit early in the morning? Nigga walks past my shit, looks in my shit. You don't supposed to look into people's cubes. It's disrespectful, just like a nigga sell. So he walks past my shit and looks into my shit. So I'm like, all right, I'm pressing this nigga. You heard? So I wait for the nigga to come back from the bathroom and I press this. I said, yo, look. I said, yo, motherfucker. Don't, like I said, I was young and I'm, I'm paranoid with, with shit. So I said, yo, I said, yo, nigga, don't walk past my motherfucking cube again, nigga. I said, the bathroom is that way. You walk around this way and go that way to the fucking bathroom. Don't walk past my motherfucking cube and don't look at my motherfucking cube again. You understand what I'm saying? He like, all right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my fault, right? So I'm like, yeah, nigga, I'm tough. I just pressed that nigga, yeah. Next day, nigga, the nigga, the nigga that was fucking the nigga came to the dorm, right? The next day, the nigga that the, 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 the gay nigga was fucking with, he got the nigga pulled over to the dorm. This nigga come in the dorm. This nigga's a murderer. You heard? This nigga's a murderer, my nigga. Niggas like this, yo, this nigga right here, bro. He done stabbed like three, four niggas up already. This nigga's a killer in the streets. He's a killer in jail. The nigga's, the nigga's crazy, bro. Stay out of that nigga way. And he fucks with that, that, that gay nigga that you pressed. I'm like, thanks, nigga. I pressed this nigga like a gorilla. Now the nigga man come through the next day. So now I'm like, I hope this nigga don't go tell this nigga that I pressed the nigga like that. Because I'm a little nigga, my nigga. This nigga's 40 years old and a killer. You understand? He may be 35, not like 40. And a killer. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh, man. This is what I should have just kept my motherfucking mouth shut. Because I ain't built for this nigga. This nigga come through like this. Yo, what up? I'm like, yo, this nigga, this nigga right here, crazy ice grill, mad dark skin. He just looked like, and then I'm saying because he dark skin, he look evil. I'm just saying. He just looked like the type of nigga that you don't want no problems with, bro, because he gonna put that knife in you. You heard? So I'm like this, damn. And the gay nigga, he didn't tell the nigga. He didn't tell the nigga nothing. And the, and, and, and son was a cool nigga with me. You feel me? Like when he be talking to the nigga, he be like, yo son, pardon me son, you know I'm talking to, I don't mean no disrespect, I be like, yo good looking. And he ain't had to do that, cause he was putting knobs in niggas. You heard? So he he was being respectful, like yo look, I fuck with, I get down like that, but I ain't gonna disrespect the next man. So he used to be telling me, yo bro, you know what I mean, I'm talking to my, my bitch, you know what I mean? I be like, all right my nigga, no problem. You feel what I'm saying? And he would never, Violate, and then the the, the 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 nigga, the gay nigga, he never snitched on me and said, "Yo, that nigga tried to press me on some tough shit," cause he know he was dead wrong and was trying me. So, and 
was you was cheating, you was trying to cheat on your man, nigga. You was flirting with another nigga, and now this killer nigga comes in the dorm. So that information never got out, and I respected that gay nigga for that because the gay nigga could have been like, "Yo, this nigga just tried to press me on some tough shit," and I mean, then I would have had a mad problem. And then that same nigga, he ended up going gun to gun with another nigga over the not over the over the gay nigga, but I think somebody else either slapped or spit on the gay nigga. And then he was like, yo, you, you, you spit on my, slap my bitch. And them niggas stabbed each other up like savage, like savages in the gym. Like niggas called the gym and niggas, as soon as they got in the gym, they start stabbing each other up. Boom, boom, right in front of the police. Police couldn't get them niggas off each other. They just kept stabbing each other up until the squad came and ripped them niggas off each other. And I think even one of the police got stabbed by mistake or something. That's how savagely these two niggas were stabbing each other up. Him and another legendary known nigga from Brownsville, whose name I won't mention. But... They ended up stabbing each other the fuck up, you heard? And, um, yeah, the nigga was a nigga messing with chumps, but he was, he was, his knife was going off, you heard? So, like I said, man, that's, that's the penitentiary, but I was happy that that gay nigga ain't tell that nigga, yo, that nigga just pressed me and told me I can't walk past his cube no more. You know what I mean? Real talk. But, you know, the nigga was trying me, like, nigga walking past, glaring at me and shit, like, yo, bro, 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 bro. We ain't gonna be doing none of that. You understand what I'm saying? We not doing none of that. Yeah, my nigga. Shit was crazy. Eugenia was popping. I ain't see you there, man. Holla at me. Send me some send me some bread. Send me some of that suburban white bread that you got. Nah, that's my homegirl, Eugenia. She's funny. But she's rich on the low and lives in a mansion somewhere in Long Island. Send me some money. Real talk. Yeah, bro, but gempop.store, go check out the merchandise. I'm about to get the fuck out of here. I've been on here for three days, but I'm three hours, but I told niggas I was gonna come on here and talk about the gem pop store for a few hours, let this shit rock so niggas could, you know what I mean? But uh, I'm gonna start going live on Sundays. If I don't drop a fat vegetarian episode, I'm just gonna go live for a few hours. You heard? I got a fat vegetarian episode right now, but it's too short. So I'm gonna wait till I go do something else to add on to that. But I got a review of Cheesecake Factory with the avocado egg rolls. Listen, let me tell you something, my brother. If you're a vegetarian, or you're striving to be a vegetarian, or you wanna give vegetarian food a try, the next time you go to Cheesecake Factory, as an appetizer, before you get your main dish, order the avocado egg rolls, my nigga. When you eat those avocado egg rolls, you're gonna say to yourself, I understand why some people are vegetarians. When you dip that avocado egg roll in that tamarind sauce that comes with that shit, the cheesecake, cheesecake factory, That's all I got to say, bro. I got the review coming, you know what I mean? Where I'm eating, where I'm eating those egg rolls live on camera at Ridge Hill and Yonkers. If you don't know about Ridge Hill and Yonkers, take your kids there someday. It's fun. You know what I mean? It's expensive. Go there with your money right, but you know, it's fun. But um, yeah, man. L A Z Z Man Suicide. Shlola with the Shli man. But um, bro, listen. Try those avocado egg rolls at the Cheesecake Factory. Go to gempop.store and check out some of the merchandise. I promise you, every month, I'm gonna have two, three new designs on there. That's nuts. And I'm going nuts with it. I'm not telling you. Oh, shit. You just, that just made me, all right, I gotta get off this shit. I forgot my son, Camille. You don't got the Brooklyn, don't dilute us up there, bro. I need that up there. Now, ASAP. That's the main seller. I got to holla at my nigga Camille. That's crazy, my nigga. That's crazy, that shit that you just said about the dude killed himself because of a transgender dude. That's, that's crazy, bro. You know what I mean? I read a book, yo. If you never read this book, it's a deep-ass book called Cuz. That's the name of the book. C-U-Z. Cuz. Read that shit, my nigga. That shit crazy, my nigga. 
It's about this chick that's a very highly intellectual chick, black chick from L.A. That she had a nephew that went to the can and started messing around with a transgender dude. And I'm not even going to blow up the story, but read the goddamn book. It's called Cuz. That shit is deep, bro. Next level deep shit. It's talking about the black experience in the ghetto and poverty and economic political science all type of elements is in this shit my nigga but you gotta read this book it's called cuz c-u-z it's on amazon order that shit my nigga that shit crazy it was in the library get it out the library i just got my new library card i'm about to go in because i fucked my old library card up i was going in my nigga i was reading a book a week you heard i was reading a book a week for like fucking like nine months straight me and my daughter. Like, I could have drove her to school, but I said, we're taking the train so that we can read on the train. I need to read. Like, once you start reading a lot, you get addicted to that shit where you need to read. So I used to read so much, but I was like, I can't even drive. I got to get on the train where I could read a book. So we would be, I would get on the train. I read a book a week. My daughter read a book a week. You understand what I'm saying? I'm hitting that. That's why to this day, my, my nine-year-old daughter, She's sharp, like she read on college level. She write on college level because I was shoving books down her throat, my nigga, like this, hold us, hold us, hold us. Getting on the train, one way you read, the next way you could play, you could play on your phone, play games on your phone. But one of the ways, we're reading. So you could pick daytime or afternoon, whichever one. And we, I used to have her busting down a book a week, my nigga. You understand what I'm saying? That's the best gift you could ever give a child books read make, teach them how to read they would never forget you they will love you forever nigga when you teach them how to read bro had my daughter reading all type of shit hell yeah when you young like that psh, forget about it like my, i got a my, my one and a half year old like a lot of niggas don't know this mass shit and all of that like babies read lips and they watch you how you form your lips to learn how to speak we running around with masks on for a whole year straight our kids are seeing less lip reading. You understand what I'm saying? So they learning slower and all of that because of this COVID-19 shit. Real talk. You understand what I'm saying? But it's on, bro. Peace, peace, peace to the God. What's popping, my bro? Yeah, I've been on here for pushing three hours. I'm bugging. But we talking about all type of subjects. You know what I mean? Definitely check out that Jet Pop Dot store. I might be updating that shit with new designs weekly you heard real talk i'm sitting on some designs my nigga and i got some designs on the way i got the mess hall trade then i got some japanese anime shit that says rikers island legends which is a crazy jail wall with the anime figure and just shit look crazy bro rikers island legends i gotta holler at my nigga camille man you know what i mean real talk appreciate you my bro Niggas go comment on the new New York City unexplained when we talk about some mystic crazy shit. You know what I mean? That's what I'm gonna start hitting y'all niggas with on the weekends to break the monotony. Like, y'all gotta get into some mystic crazy shit. Sundays, either I'm going live or I'm dropping a fat vegetarian. During the week, I'm probably gonna be dropping like three major stories during the week. And then I hit niggas with my Rikers Island Legends and New York State Prison shit. You feel me? Y'all niggas crazy for staying in here for three hours, my nigga. Y'all niggas is a gem pop for real. You heard? But I'm getting the fuck up out of here, man. L-A-Z, Z-Man, Suicide Polo, Z-Man. Go check out Gem Pop Dot Store right now. Buy you a t-shirt or something. Buy some merchandise, my nigga. I'm going to have some more crazy merchandise on here soon. You know what I mean? Holla at the G-O-D.